The following program is hosted by immature, irreverent, obnoxious, and often disgusting young men. Listener discretion is advised. This time on Nude Clan, got a little bit of hog update for June. Shall we play a game? <laughs> and gentlemen Woo! to another episode of nude clan the video game podcast that unironically records on both father's day and juneteenth i'm your host <laughs> caleb schweiss i'm joe i'm zach i'm a4 i'm confused <laughs> well unironically don't, don't think about it too it's soon, not man. it's not our fault that they decided to put father's day and juneteenth on the same day i just this year. i just that was feel, just a happy accident i just Today feel the but what yeah, does that have is. to do with Nude Clan? Well, that just happens to be when we're recording. Okay. Uh, it's because uh, Schweiss and I <laughs> have father issues, in a way. Um, and get a Juneteenth. It's like a black holiday. And none of us are black. None of us are yeah. black. I'm okay. the closest being a Mexican. But, but it right, happens you know to what be... Are you saying we should have just fathers. taken the day off? Is that what you're saying? We right have a lot of them. So. We had to take last week off because they for a stupid wife. So I don't see why we would take this week I off. I mean, I'm just saying it's a bit of a <laughs> it's a bit of a it. sad holiday to come. We celebrated Juneteenth a week early in this household, okay? That's, <laughs> who's, yeah. So whose birthday was it last Juneteenth week that we had to stop the podcast for? Oh, I didn't know they still got birthdays. Um. So anyway... Not when they're Jehovah's Witness, but you know. <laughs> That's we, true. We <laughs> I just, Is yeah. she a Jehovah's Witness? She was, yeah. Oh. Oh, was. Like she grew up that way, yeah. Oh. Dave Mustaine was a Jehovah's Witness too. Yeah, okay. he was. Yeah. Ooh, I should get my girl I should get my wife to fucking play the guitar. She can teach her how to shred. It's she true. Could be, that could be Dave Mustaine. Yeah. It was, no, it would no, but the, it that would be like if Dave could actually it would be like if Dave Mustaine could sing. Cause she got a she got a nice voice, so. Oh, I thought it'd be like sure voice would turn into his, and she'd be like, "Oh, no, oh, imagine, right, imagine, oh. imagine like Dave Mustaine, <laughs> but with like a fuckable voice, like a smoky, really nice voice. You know what I mean? Instead of like, oh, it'd be like, oh yeah. Your 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 wife. Your wife Are like you a man? saying that Dave Mustaine's voice is not sexy? Uh, uh, Dave Mustaine's voice is sexy. Don't get me. Don't get it twisted. Uh, I'm just saying, like, I'd rather fuck uh, my wife's voice than Dave Mustaine's voice. I've only uh, ever heard one of these two. Yeah, well, I know I, you've also got the brand <laughs> Downs twice. So, I mean, yeah, some tells me you'd 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 switch teams. Go what? <laughs> Wait, what? Switch teams? The brown? Di- what is that? The brown downs is a thing that my my uh, my friends say that I have because I you know like brown characters in anime and I, I you know it's like they're like saying he has a, a big old bone jungle hair. fever is what they're saying yeah but I they're trying to be a little more PC about it which still isn't PC because <laughs> they're saying it we, we call it the brown downs <laughs> yeah. so if we're gonna be correct <laughs> before I get there if we're gonna be uh, anything but politically correct but also yeah. correct uh, yeah so that joke fell flat but. <laughs> I did think That's it okay. was. It's I, just just add them to the list. Just look, I thought it was hilarious that it was Juneteenth and Father's Day at the same time. I was like, it oh, is hilarious. Which don't, one are you supposed to celebrate? And then I was like, either or both. Yeah, but I, it's it's a play on the fatherlessness issue in the black community. So it's like it's a Black Father's Day. Yeah, he was like, being. Oh, he was. You being, were being super racist. I was being yeah, extremely That's racist. why. Yes. That's why oh. I kept looking at you, and I was like, "How do you not?" I'm glad you don't understand it. Like, wait a go. I, like, I, I'm I, happy you yeah. do. I was very. It was like a. You no, know, Joe was going to try and spin this that he's like, "Oh, I'm so not I racist that I didn't, didn't even know think of that it. black people didn't have fathers." But I would say Joe's more racist that he's not aware of the issues in oh, the African yeah. American community. See, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm aware of the problems. <laughs> God damn it. Just shut the fuck up. Uh, but uh yeah, that's we're here. Um But yeah. it kinda makes me sad that I that I, I myself am part of the problem. 
for the Hispanic community. Oh, how many women have you impregnated? No, because my and dad left. isn't around. <laughs> um, well, that means that you're not <laughs> the problem. Call. He didn't. I don't know if they get call f- their phones in prison. They do. Do they? Well, yeah. fuck you, Dad. I mean, they got the one phone call. He could have at least made me. He could have at least made me like a fucking license plate in prison, like for my birthday. <laughs> like, like, world, he could have done something. World's best son. Yeah, he's like, hey, Dad. <laughs> in son we trust. I'll get away with this. <laughs> in son we trust. <laughs> it's a Utah license plate joke. You're welcome. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 his license plate in his car is just where's my son <laughs> <laughs> I uh you better hope it never finds me because I'm gonna be like dude you're 18 years on backlog of child support and I need a new house so happy happy Father's Day uh happy Juneteenth um and happy uh, Pride Month it's June happy Pride Month hell yeah happy Pride Month to the Engage community the specifically only the Engage community yeah I feel like yeah. I feel like to be inclusive it would be everyone yeah, and Nude Clan is known for its inclusivity. That's right. Yes, we try. <laughs> <laughs> With us being three white guys and barely a Hispanic. <laughs> well, one of us was supposed to be Jewish, but <laughs> hey, we can't disprove <laughs> that yet. <laughs> I mean, I guess we haven't like we should like the, the next time we get a new host, we have to like genetically test. You're gonna them. have to vet them, yeah. Yeah, like, all right, look, you need to be at least one. You're third. literally hiring based on race. That's you how that's like, how you get grants from are the, the government. Those are the rules now, okay? I'm not saying it's right. I'm also, just saying it is it, I thought I, we were getting don't something. Hate the, don't hate the player. Hate also, the game. I've been told by a certain friend uh, that like used to listen. I don't know if he think he still listens, but that he was gonna be a host. Or they want you wanted him to be a host, which is Branny. Yeah, I did want and him so to be a host. He's gay, so I would have also hit check, checked another part for our. I want, yeah, yeah, I did. I did want Brady to be a host. We need a good bear. We were, we were hanging out with him a lot over the PSN thing, and yeah. I thought he was fucking hilarious. Yeah, I thought he would have been a great host. He would have tilted the balance, the scales. Yeah, back you would. You would have actually played RPG. See, he he would have been a great get because he's gay, but he's also super racist. So like, he would have fit in perfectly. <laughs> God. Yeah. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't have tipped it quite as much as I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> would have tipped it over the edge instead. Um, yeah, so we had a bit of a a bit of a rough month for recording going on. So the yeah. first weekend, um, Joe was out of town, right? And I had plans behind the scenes to try to get another episode out for you guys, and three separate plans fell through, unfortunately, <laughs> no. uh, one week after another, basically. Um, so I wasn't able to get anything out for you. So I was like, oh, don't worry. I got this. And then, you know, we didn't record because Joe was in. Uh, My confusion to that is like, I don't know why you didn't record just because I was out. We do recordings all the time with one person being out. I don't know. <laughs> I was also like, wasn't like a like. But were you there also There was something out? else going on that week. No, I was back. There okay. was something else happening. Yeah, it was like not a good time. Yeah, and then someone had a birthday. My wife had a birthday. Yeah. Which, stupid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. I hate it when my wife gets older. Yeah. She's only got a few more of those. She only got a few more of those in her before I dump her ass. <laughs> yeah. Jesus he, you, I was warning you. I warned you last year and you I didn't told, listen. I told you not to get Look, older. It's not my fault that yeah. men age what, like a fine wine and I women s- age like milk. I saw I can't that picture that, of Leo okay? DiCaprio framed behind you and I was wondering what that was all about. But now My wife it. just turned 15 hero. and I'm like, ugh, too old. God. Yeah. <laughs> It's that Marin Trant meme from Game of Thrones where like the God. sperm is inseminating the egg and he's like too old. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dude. Oh, my my sister met um hold on. Talk while I find the Oh the yeah, post. we'll just yeah, okay, we'll just yeah. wait for your ass. Uh, yeah, I fine. love it when A4 types during the stream. Yeah. That's my favorite yeah. thing yeah. about A4. And then when he just drops that fucks up his audio, yeah. it's also fun. And then he tells um, us just to talk and he And then give when us we're like the Saturday bef- the Saturday before we're recording and Joe's supposed to do my another sister, podcast. My sister goes, met Theon Greyjoy uh, on Broadway. So Does he still cool. have his dick? Uh, did he his, or did yeah. they actually cut it off for did the realism of the Did he change his sadness? name to Theon Greyjoy? Yeah. No, I don't know the actor's name. <laughs> it's, it's, everybody calls me it's this Alfie, anyway. It's Alfred something because it's, it's his, Alfie Allen. Allen, that's what it is, yeah. Whatever. She met that guy. That was cool. He's kind um, of a fucked up looking dude. I know, bit, and yeah, he doesn't have his dick anymore. It's sad. Apparently he's super nice, so there's that. Cool. 
Yeah, that's cool. That's I haven't cool. met yeah. any of the Game of Thrones actors. Well, I met the chick that plays Cersei. I can't remember her name right now. Oh, really? You met Lena Headey? She was really nice. My buddy interviewed her for like a, like a YouTube thing he was doing. What? So I got to talk to her for a little bit. She's actually super sweet. And like no one was going up to her because they hated her from Game of Thrones. <laughs> Because <laughs> they hated it was Cersei. like the height of Cersei, yeah, and people were like we hate you. She's like, I know. She's also in and then you walk up right? and you're like, I yeah, love and this she's in a, in she's, and she's the villain in Dread. Oh, okay, yeah, no, she's, she's she she's was good. so she was really sweet. She was really nice. I liked her a lot. Yeah, that's awesome. I like all of them. Uh, the funny thing was uh, there was like a fucking moment where the guy who played Barristan Selmy, the <laughs> old knight, he uh, he was being asked about the next book, and he's like, oh, it's already done. And like he was basically like giving out like false information, and people were like, "How the fuck would Barristan know if the book was done?" And I was like, "Hey, no one here would doubt the word of Barristan." <laughs> Barristan, yeah, so he I was like, the, he was the best knight. He was the no the one here true. would question your honor. <laughs> There's no way the next book was getting done. Uh, 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 H. John Benjamin, whatever his name is, was too busy uh, writing flavor text for item descriptions for Elden Ring. H. John Ring, Benjamin, so. that one, that's not even close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is, that is, he's a voice actor. Two, you mean George R. R. Martin? Yes. J- George Railroad Martin was too busy writing the item <laughs> descriptions for Elden Ring. I like playing Monopoly, and I always trade to get all four railroads. <laughs> yeah, because he's a horrible player. <laughs> yeah. Well, with like, very t- poor time management skills. Like, <laughs> if you're the person who gets the fucking railroads in Monopoly, you're a shitty Monopoly player. Why? Because they're getting passive income. Yeah, but like rarely. And plus, once you get like two or three, no one wants to give you the okay. fourth one. Okay, Zach, I don't know if you know this. I win almost every Monopoly game I play. Oh, and it's been that way for like... Well, now we know who's the real Jew of the should, podcast. You should, put the, you should put that on your LinkedIn. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Monopoly God. Exactly. Yeah, here's the deal. <laughs> I just, I mean, twice. Future, you back me up on this future shit? CEO. I mean, look, I talked shit and I was like, look, Monopoly is a game of luck. And then, of course, the next game we play, Joe wins. <laughs> which, which, but like, luck. I bought every property I landed on and I had three. Okay. So I was like, look, it's not that I suck. No. It's that if you don't fucking land on anything, you're just not going to win. That's not how Monopoly works. It's not just about landing. You got to auction shit. No free parking. Don't use house rules, bitches. You fuck up the game if you use house rules. Joe's busy drinking a fucking Mai Tai, playing Monopoly while reading The Art of the Deal. It's taking high. (laughs) it's, It's about a lot of risk and negotiation and bribery and everything else that is not landing on spaces in the game. It just, do you guys remember being virgins too? And knowing, I just, no. And and knowing how, and knowing what properties are are more valuable and uh, easier to upkeep and and all that. I mean, railroads are fucking waste. Welcome to Nude Clan, the prestigious owners of. uh, My favorite one was Utah Monopoly. This is the Parker Brothers podcast. (laughs) Yeah. Next week, welcome to I got, I got the Star Wars like twenty anniversary. Welcome to the, welcome to the Milton Bradley yeah. minute where we all play a different, we all play the same board game and then we review it and give it scores out of ten. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a great sound. So what did you guys think of <laughs> Candyland? Was, I personally think the art direction was amazing. However, yeah. the story not so good. <laughs> S- sound design on Yahtzee. Uh, well, I mean, it's kind of an iconic little yeah. clunky <laughs> clack. <laughs> <laughs> they all have this is the sound design for sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, replayability, replayability for Clue, seemingly endless. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it can literally be anyone with anything at any time in any room. I, I, uh, so I've been doing the crazy spam diet again. Like I was, and then I stopped for the last like week and a half. Did we ever explain? The we spam did. Diet? We have explained. I think the spam we did. Okay, all right. But then I was like, I looked online. I was like, I wonder what kind of spam merch they have, dude. There's like <laughs> ten pages of spam merch. <laughs> you should get a shirt, dude. There's like, a fucking spam Yahtzee. I swear to God. I, I was like. And then there's like a cornhole. There spam. has to be a spam Hawaiian shirt. There is. Yeah, of course there is. There is. It's fucking awesome. You looking. need it. You need it, dude. You should I, get it. I told Alex, whatever something breaks that's available on the spam store, we should just like replace it with spam products. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that spam. I got my spam fucking little uh, <laughs> apron that I put on when I fry up <laughs> the spam. Fucking <laughs> the just spam popcorn. He goes from buying. He goes from buying two hundred dollar uh, Final Fantasy statues to buying two hundred dollar spam statues. Yeah, in case you break your brick. current apron. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it goes, we're getting spam. Yeah, in eighty years. It's like it's like the fucking it's like the dean 
It's like the dean from uh, Community, and he sees the guy in the Dalmatian costume dancing. He's like, I hope this doesn't awaken something in me. And slowly through the course of the season, he just has more Dalmatian shit in his office. <laughs> yeah. That's with spam. There's spam spatulas. There's like, dude, it's a lot. There's like a spam clock. Like you said, yeah, clock. you said say your fucking alarm time. clock in the morning to spam, 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 spamity spam from fucking Monty Python. <laughs> yeah. There's the, it's like pages and pages of like, it's Crazy. just on their official site? Yeah. yeah oh, wow. So I, you could probably get some knockoff shit that's even... <laughs> on Etsy? Yeah. More extensive, So there's yeah. a spam thing on Etsy. Dude, I love spam. It's pretty... Yeah, I do too, but I'm just... It's weird that they have so many... Um, Merch. When are you going to start the spam spot? The, the spam cast? Spam cast. Welcome to another episode of spam cast. I mean, it'd be a big hit now that everyone's like poor. Because of inflation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly, know. dude, get on this market right now. All right, no, so today, it's not for those people that weren't eating it when they were growing up. I'm sorry. It's like, um, this yeah, we like spam before it was the only thing. Yeah, you dude, we yeah. have a new spice to go on that spam and rice. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Listen in for uh, the secrets. Five. Your your listening audience is like primarily Polynesian. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, dude, it's what it would be. I could market it at work. We would be so big in Hawaii. So, We'd be huge here bro, too. It's so local. It is. It is a. Uh, it is a very true stereotype. It is. Yeah. Everyone I, I, at my work that's Polynesian, when I told them I was eating spam a lot, they were like, "Oh, nice." And it's like, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> I have about I have about eighteen hundred recipes that I could give you. For that <laughs> yeah, you're like no, you mean bro. you don't you didn't normally eat spam for every meal? Yeah, they're like, "What are you talking about?" Oh, dude. So there's a thing uh, like if you go to like a good Hawaiian restaurant, it's called the Moco Loco. It's like a breakfast thing. They have a spam. Isn't one. that PSP game? <laughs> but it's like spam and <laughs> rice and eggs and gravy, and it's so fucking good. I so good. The last couple times I've made the spam, though, it's been so salty that, like, I honestly, I had to like intermittently eat my banana with the spam to like break it up because I was like, dude, I'm gonna be fucking sick. <laughs> like, this is so fucking salty. Like, my body is just like convulsing. <laughs> so the sad part for me is my girlfriend told me how much like. She's like seeing spam makes her queasy, and oh, yeah. I'm not really sure why. She's wrong. I know. Yeah, I've told her that. Um, <laughs> but so, but so she's like, yeah. She's like, you, you're not having spam in my house because this makes me sick. You should make her like, like what? <laughs> you should make her like. You should like drizzle some spam like fat juice on your like cock and just like make her. Make her lick it off. Oh, that makes me sick. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so foul. I, I oh, should God. mention I've also never down. had spam, so. You never oh, had really? spam? You are white. But what you're not you? like the good white. Guess, what are you, I not guess, poor? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I told my girlfriend. I'm like, you keep saying you were poor, and like. I don't believe it. I don't think you were. You don't know what poor is until you've yeah. had canned meat yeah. with no expiration date <laughs> on it. <laughs> Doesn't expire. It can't go bad. It's salt. Mm. <laughs> I also feel like you don't know what poor is if you haven't eaten peanut butter with a spoon. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, fuck, I still do that. <laughs> like, um, I can't remember next, who next I Next month, I will buy spam, and like, I will buy a thing of Vienna sausages from I got the in dollar trouble store, for putting and I will the try them live on the show. Oh, yeah. It was that rich, rich piece of shit I lived with at my apartment in L.A. Like, when I did that for the for like in front of him for the first time, he was like, are you eating peanut butter with a spoon? I'm like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's quick calories. I have no money right now. Like, <laughs> yeah. Go fuck this, yourself. Sorry, this peanut butter jar is gonna last me two weeks. Sorry, I can't get Chipotle every and, day. Uh, you fuck. Oh my <laughs> god, there was someone else who I suspect they're from a rich home, be it based on this, but like, didn't know how to use a toaster. What? Like a regular, <laughs> like a regular <laughs> ass toaster. What the fuck? Regular ass toaster where you put the bread. In the toaster, and you just push the button down, and that's it. <laughs> Did he just like walk up to it and he was like, No, how do you, so, Jeeves, Jeeves, press it, yeah, Jeeves? The, the explanation was they had only ever used a toaster oven, and that's when I knew they grew up rich. Yeah, like, how did, you had one of those in the 90s? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> like, like, what the what fuck? What the fuck? I didn't even have a microwave. Whereas, like, now like toaster ovens are like a that's what thing, was I guess. For. <laughs> yeah, now toaster ovens, I look at them like, mm, peasant. <laughs> you don't have an air fryer like I do. Yeah, you, where's your air fryer, you fucking poor piece of shit? <laughs> don't you want it even faster? Uh, well, I mean, you know, like so, like with the I, I, I was, I went over to uh, some Hawaiian people's homes quite often, and uh, they always had rice 
in the rice cooker. Always. Mm-hmm. Always. It was always rice in there. Yeah, because that gets every meal, dude. They're either making the rice or there's rice in the rice cooker <laughs> that's like pretty fresh. And then, yeah, there was spam. And there was eggs, and it was. It's because like, awesome. they're, dude, like it's they're, they're they're really big with like like eating together, and like that brings people together, man. Like that's what it is, one hundred percent. That's like just come eat, dude. Did they have a bunch of spam paraphernalia though too? No, no they didn't. Clearly not. Spam flip flop. <laughs> I mean, spam. It's kind of pricey stuff. Like the fucking cornhole thing. It was like hundreds of dollars. I'm like. I could fucking make that in like you just 10 like, minutes. You could get a sponge corn and put spinning. <laughs> yeah. If you, yeah. if you spin cornhole why? is the funniest combination here's, of words. Here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you get you make yourself a, a cornhole spam, but you just get like a sponge. A cornhole spam and does sound it, like, and like and a sex move. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I gave her the cornhole spam. <laughs> I just picture that fucking move that Zangief does where he like takes the person and holds them upside down and does a spinning like pile driver. Mmm. Says the pork and mmm is what the uh, spam website says. Schweiss is pulling it up. Now, now, is there Steakums merch? Because I'm all, I'm all about, I'm going to be all about that shit. I don't think you're as poor as we were. <laughs> it's a little disappointing. Yeah, we didn't have like. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Spam Steakums? corn toss. Oh, they can, they don't call it cornhole. They call it corn toss. What a bunch of fucks! It's not yeah, even real. I mean, come on, like. And then fake the fans, dude, fake this, cornhole fans. The, the golf bag. The golf bag. <laughs> yeah. They start off with the. Oh, this one I want real bad. The Hawaiian then. shirt is perfect. The canjo. There's a fucking what the fuck? It's yes. a fucking banjo with a spam Dude, can. Dude, just at the get base. the flag. There you go, it's spam. So yeah, we could put it behind. Your neighbor one of our has heads. the fried flag holding out the window. <laughs> if you get a spam yeah, flag. and then your other one has a ballish ice in their window. So if you get the spam flag, you'll be hated. I think those might be the same people. Oh, maybe. Sorry for typing. I just had to write down that the uh, the uh, thumbnail for this episode is going to be all of us in with different spam merch. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's a it's a pretty extensive like. Oh fuck! I think as well with all the pictures for this month, you should put the pride <laughs> you should put the pride flag somewhere in there for it being Pride Month, so we can sell out like every other corporation. Spam. Did fanny you see pack. Xbox's fucking cover photo? No. It's just this fucking explosion of pride flags. <laughs> here's Kate. Here's my here's my take on that. If you put it up, gay. <laughs> during if you put it up during the month, you're a jackass, and it's just corporate like trying to like pretend to care or is like if you have it up like every other day of the year then like whatever like yeah we get it like it's cool like i feel like you just sell out it's like my my girl's brother well they have to business. they have to put it up during this month because at the end on july 1st gay people and and lesbians and trans and all that stuff like lgbtq people stop existing on july 1st oh, dude, it's just, it's and they don't come back out. until june like, 1st just, of next year i just hate it because it's like dude like we know you don't give a shit so i pretend but so like my girlfriend's brother, like he has, he's had his barbecue business for like over a year, and I looked at his Instagram and he put a picture of his. He's like, "Oh yeah, we put this pride flag up because you should be who you want to be." And I was like, "You're a fucking sellout," because if you actually cared, bro, you'd have it up all year long. You live in Salt Lake, like if you cared, it would be up. It would have been up. Yeah. So don't pretend that all of a sudden you care, you piece of shit. Like, I mean, it's not real. I don't know. It's just not like only a, not only do I actively not care. I'm I'm campaigning for July to be known as Shame Month, so that is that uh, where you masturbate we can kind and of, you we hold can the kind of get everything back to normal. Shame Month. You're gonna shame gay people. I yeah. Well, everyone. Oh, everyone. Every, the, the country as a whole just needs more shame in its life. We need to start putting women in burkas. We need to start going to church. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, dude. Speaking of. Speaking of going to church, I was driving in uh, Orem, and there was a dude with a repent sign, like waving it at traffic. And he didn't. That's pretty awesome. No, he didn't appreciate me going like this. Like we went by and we're like, were you just blasting ghost (laughs) as you drove past him? No, I did like I put my fingers over my mouth and did like the tongue thing for like licking the van. No, but didn't didn't you say the one time you were driving like a neighborhood and you were blasting? You were blasting. Oh yeah, dude, my Catholic neighbor hates me because like I was driving through and I was coming home from work and I had a bad day, so I was blasting music, and I was blasting the one that was like says like Lucifer like five times in a row, and I was like pulling into like my my yard and she was like this, she was like mowing, she was like. Like just so disgusting. Maybe she was like, "What the hell is that boring ass music?" That I, <laughs> I wasn't listening to Metallica. <laughs> like, why does it sound so boring? Yeah. But so, why does it sound like yeah. Schweiss, boring Schweiss, heavy comment, metal I've ever heard in my Schweiss life? commented on my thing with like all the uh, all the genres I listen to. Do you not know what gent is? 
It's no, like it periphery like and, a, and like mashuga and stuff like that. It sounds like a ghost type from it's Phasmophobia. Not a <laughs> Phasm- it's like a fancy it's a ghost. Gent. <laughs> yeah. It's a gent. He's like a, a fancy, he's a high class gin. But so this dude on his sign, it said like, repent, uh, do not fornicate. And one more thing, and I was like with my girlfriend, I'm like, well, we should fornicate later. This is. <laughs> Thank you for reminding us, sir. Yeah, I love the ones. You where know, it's been a hot minute since we fornicated. Yeah, we haven't fornicated in a long time. Would you like to fornicate? <laughs> I would love to fornicate with you. And then, so also last night, she bought some pregnancy tests, not because we're pregnant, but because like when she she gets she stresses herself out and thinks she is, so she does a test. Like she'll do like a test. It's weird, like yeah. Anyway, so we went to check out. <laughs> we went to check out an all a dollar. Well, you're not fucking, are you? And the dude, oh yeah, all the time. And the dude was like. Oh, congratulations. I'm like, no, no, no. This is to know if we need an abortion or not. And it's <laughs> just like the color drained from his face. <laughs> and he was like, uh, okay. And he just like, yeah. I think that would also be my reaction if I was in that guy's. <laughs> was so, if I yeah, was in that crude. guy's. <laughs> Joe, so you're a huge funny. prude. So it's like, <laughs> if I was in that guy's position, I would also be like, whoa. Okay. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for sharing. <laughs> it was pretty good. It was. It was there, fun. I yeah. would, uh, if there's one person I would love sh- to see accost <laughs> Joe, I would love to see Joe on, in like an Eric Andre sketch. Because I don't think he like know what to do. Yeah, I know. I think. Uh, yeah, I, I feel the same way. I feel like Joe would be scared. Okay. <laughs> There's a Have you seen the Eric Andre show? Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. There's there's a just so you know, there's spam brand lip balm. I hope to God it tastes like spam. <laughs> oh, there's a spam, oh, that's gross. spam brand fishing bobber. Please tell me there's spam lube. Oh, uh, no, that would be awesome. Okay. Though. So now that our listeners you have just, just fucking smells like a... you fried up some spam, but all you were doing was like slamming. Why do I the have woman? to pay them to advertise for them? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I love that the, the spam Dude, golf you're not set. Paying, I actually really like that. Y- you're paying <laughs> to advertise for them because you're all about the spam lifestyle. Okay, you're all about that spam. All and that the, spam. The spam Yahtzee, the little like uh, die, looked like cubes of spam. It was like amazing. Also, you're you're asking a question that like all like when you pay people, paying people to advertise for them is what you do anytime you buy anything. Like that you wear. That's just that's just what that is. That's Blank true. T-shirts. <laughs> yeah, we're not with to all our fruit of the out. loom written on the inside of the collar. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. Like <laughs> people aren't buying, like people aren't buying uh, Supreme that? shirts because they think they look cool. I buy them because like Goku. Status, wears them. It's like a status, but then they're also advertising Supreme to other people, and then you go like, "What is that boring ass shirt?" Hmm. I I honestly I would rather just have single color like non shirts like i i, like I don't more. i don't buy shirts where you see the brand on them I, I i normally yeah like i would rather wear something like this even though it used to say adidas it's got i was going to say didn't it, yeah, didn't it used to say <laughs> when it, when it comes to more. like video game shirts i prefer the i prefer it to be a little more subtle like i don't want it to be saying like super mario i want it to like like if it's like a brand from a game like i'm trying to think of a good example like i i got to have at least one like i have the i have the shirt that Sega put out of just Froggy from Sonic Adventure. It was like from an animated Sonic short. And it's like, well, that's subtle enough that like anyone who knows who that character is is going to get it. But it's right, not immediately yeah. it's screaming. Like, it's like, it's this like, is a Sonic the Hedgehog shirt. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, yeah. Like, if you got a character on it, it doesn't need a title. I mean, it's kind of how I feel about some band shirts sometimes. Like, I think yeah. it's like a, it's almost like you're incognito. Like, if you just have a shirt that says the Beatles on it, it's like, yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> but if you have like an you're album cover or yeah, something. Yeah, I get you, yeah. If you're like an album cover, or if it's like a reference to something, yeah, you know, then it's a little more. But then it almost fe- it feels like you're just like elitist about your. Yeah, you're like shirt. going up to seventeen year old girls wearing a Nirvana shirt, like name three songs, and then she sprays you with the <laughs> pepper spray. No, the only band, the yeah. only band you can actually do that with, the only band you can actually do that with is the Misfits. If you go up to anyone wearing a Misfits shirt and you tell them to name three Misfits songs, they will not be able to do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's Why a, would you even do that? It's a yeah. horrible band. It's a horrible so. band. <laughs> <laughs> What's the greatest thing that ever happened to Misfits? The merch. Uh, Danzig leaving uh, the band. Two Stop making music. Solo. <laughs> Dan- uh, Danzig, with, Danzig with Solo and Metallica covered their songs and made them decent. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Man, yeah, Danzig is way better. Way better than fucking Misfits. Wasn't he their original singer? I can't remember if he's the OG. I don't know. I don't fucking know the Misfits history. I don't know. He's he's so weird now, though. It's so funny. 
Yeah. He's been, like, you say weird now, like he wasn't weird immediately. Yeah, he's <laughs> kind of a freakish right, little but, troll of a yeah. man. I don't know. It's, Danzig just makes me laugh all the time. It's it's like it's just so funny witnessing him like exist. <laughs> he's like five three, <laughs> five three, pumped well, full of he's steroids. Like five, he looks like Sigourney Weaver, and apparently he like yeah, he, like, he does. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just Danzig makes me laugh. It's so funny. His head is like so weird too. Yeah. It's like <laughs> oh, so was it Sigourney Weaver? He's or, he's got uh, like a neck almost Danzig as wide as uh, Star- I was gonna say. Girl. If you ever if you ever see Danzig, you should get him to sign like a picture of Sigourney Weaver and aliens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just be like, dude, I, I loved your... you in this movie. <laughs> yeah, you're so good. You're so brave to transition, mother. <laughs> Tell you your look, children not to sign my merch. You looked, uh, you looked real hot in your underwear in that movie. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you that right now. So did you eat the cat underwear. afterwards? Like what the? F- no, the cat dies. Oh yeah, that's right. Because she wakes up. She wakes up like was well, a couple hundred years in the future. Heavy metal Elvis Roxo says, "Yeah, pretty much, yeah." yeah. But his Elvis cover album, I listened to some of it and I was like, I can't. I can't finish this. <laughs> can't good conscience can't, spend time on this. <laughs> <laughs> Not even for the hog. I can't do this. Yeah. Sorry about that splashing noise. I was jerking my dick to Sigourney Weaver and Alien. Mm. And if no one heard that splashing noise, then this joke doesn't work. So it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, I heard it. I heard it. Mm. Uh, you know, I... Yeah, you know those, those blue Yeti mics pick up everything. They pick up... Yeah, yeah including all of, the, all, of the, all of the dick cheese sloshing around in my foreskin. <laughs> yeah, you are Jewish. You are uh, Jewish. The so Roxo says to use the spam, <laughs> the spam juice for sex. I think I think that would. I wonder what the smell would be like after. Well, like that would be like that's the just, only way to get a purebred Polynesian child. It's like, <laughs> yeah. you're, just like, you're just like you're just like that's just how like, they came oh, it into the like, world. It smells like <laughs> it smells like someone's frying spam up in here. I, and then your I do want to say like, I didn't even I didn't even apply it to your dick yet, and you're like, oh, okay, well. All the uh, <laughs> racist jokes on this episode. It's not racist. <laughs> I am not a part of. That's, that's uh, I, I, how did you get a Polynesian kid? Well, let me tell you. They're Jesus full of a chair. Fucking <laughs> so yeah, yeah. You me? don't think that's racist? <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's stereotypical. Do you want me to call it's my? Well, I'll call my Polynesian family right now. I'm like, hey, I just said this. What do you think? And I'll be honest. What they'll say, 100. percent Oh, yeah, that's funny. You want to come get dinner later? Right. You're like, yeah. You want to come eat some spam? <laughs> I do, yeah, I do want spam. <laughs> kind of. You want spam? I think it's racist that Joe assumes that Polynesian people shouldn't be associated with spam. Yeah, that's kind of racist. It's the food of their culture, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. I do love Hawaiian. Any any people that digs a pit to burn an animal... Flesh in is like amazing, <laughs> dude. So it's like, it's like real life going to exile. <laughs> it kind of so is, I got yeah. a, dude. So I got a friend named Jam, and he's Filipino, and like it was his kids. Like, is there eighth, a B at the end or eighth? just no? It's just J A M. Oh, okay. he's got a longer name, but like I can't remember how to pronounce it. But so I just call him like his name like is Jam something. Anyway, so it was his kids' like eighth birthday, and like they're LDS, like you get baptized, right? And he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook a pig. And we're like, oh sweet. And he's like the traditional Polynesian or the traditional like Filipino way. Which is in the ground. Yeah. And yeah. so the, he was like, I'm going to kill it and everything. So this is this, this pig in his backyard for like a week. And like <laughs> the day comes to start cooking it. And he's like, yeah, can you guys help me out? And we're like, yeah, you know, we'll go help you. This fucking pig knew something was up, bro. Like it gets out and it's like running around. <laughs> and he's like, son of a damn it. And he's like, we're chasing it around the yard, like trying to like stop it. Bro, this dude, like he just, he channeled every single one of his ancestors. And he just jumps and lands on this pig and just gets a knife and just... <laughs> And we're just like, <laughs> you're just like, holy <laughs> like, shit! Yeah, we're like, what? And yeah, and the like, blood's pouring out, and he's like, get the pit ready. <laughs> we're just I'll like, oh, you next. I'm like, it was really funny, uh, dude. It was so good though. Like, yeah, dude. Yeah. Any culture that cooks their, their meat in the ground like that, it's always good. Like, it's, it's amazing. A f- yeah, it's a fucking amazing every time. Yeah, like the there's a place here in Provo, <laughs> kind of over by uh, DI. I can't, I can't. It's like sweets. I think is what it's called. Okay. Man, amazing. Really? Oh, yeah. There's sw- their sweet pork. Holy fuck. Oh, dude, speaking of good pork, too, I went to a, this Mexican place yesterday. It's like new. But, they're, dude, they're, they're, their street tacos were fun. Thank you. My girlfriend was mad because I was, like, pulling, like, I don't like onions. Like, I just love the crunch. The crunchy onions, like, like just, I don't know. It's a texture thing. But I was pulling onions out of my burrito, and she was like, what are you doing? Like, this is gross. And she's like, you're eating a taco that's, like, mixed. And I'm like, so? She's like, mixed with, like, carnitas, stomach, and skin. 
And I was like, oh, the stomach makes it taste way better. <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> she's like, you're fucking, what the hell? And I'm like, no, I just don't want onions. It's gross. How I long were you onions. in Mexico? I was just a week. Just a week? Okay. Sunday to Sunday. Nice. And you didn't get enough. You had to come get some street tacos. No, dude, I, did, I didn't get enough. <laughs> you can't have enough tacos. Actually, we got back and like we went to a taco. Like we flew back and like got in at like seven thirty, got through customs, and then went to a, a street taco shop by our <laughs> house for dinner. <laughs> nice. Oh man, I do miss the street tacos. Oh yeah, dude, it was good this shit. Man. L.A. Just <sighs> there's a place in Salt Lake that, like, oh, honestly, dude, is like one of I think they're some of the, some of the best tacos I've ever had. Yeah, Salt Lake has a lot. Of so of fucking good. They're just like out in front of the old like destroyed, closed down Sears. Yeah, and like their little cart is just like. There's nowhere to sit in this cart. It is just like the grill, and you go up and you tell them, and they do it, and you go to the side, and they have little coolers like, "Oh, have a coke." You get yeah. the thing where it's like they've they've stacked the pork in like this yeah big cylindrical thing, and they're just like cut off. Oh no no no! They they haven't like they like they did it in the morning. And it's like a thing, and they just oh yeah. grill. Uh, There's no room for that in this little cart. Uh, okay. it's <laughs> too <laughs> it small. Is, cart. It is like yeah, it is yeah. like yeah, it's so fucking good. They do that at that. Uh, <laughs> um, King Kebab place in the Provo Mall. Yeah, they like have the fucking that's how com- that's leg. How com- yeah, yeah, but I feel like it's not going to cost me only two dollars. No, it's not. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, you're going to give me like a little paper plate to make the like three tacos. It's going to cost me nothing, which is the only thing that costs nothing in Los Angeles. So you just take the plate and you put a little. They got the, all the stuff out in front of the carts mm-hmm. and you. Yeah, my favorite thing is she. She like they'll, they'll have it on a. And one of the coolers in front so of him is like, what do you want on it? And I'm like, dude, I didn't know cucumbers was an option on tacos. Oh, wow. I had never seen cucumbers on tacos. And she's like, do you want cucumbers? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I fucking do. That's and cool. the red sauce of there's like, wow, dude, so good. Yeah. We'll have to talk about on After Dark. Sorry, we, guys. We, we yeah. both went to Latin America. We did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for, for a couple trips. Um, we should probably talk about what we've been playing. Oh, is this a video game podcast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the hell's a video game? Yeah, we got we got like twenty three minutes to get through the rest <laughs> yeah. of it. Nah, no problem. Uh, Zach, what have you been playing, dude? I actually wrote it down because I actually played a lot this, this last month and a half. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Um. All right. So I played Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc because that is a game that me and Twice are playing. Today. Never heard of it. Yeah, <laughs> it won the vote. Uh, Pokemon Go as well because my girlfriend loves that game and. That's my weekends. <laughs> you guys raid together? Yeah, yeah, honestly. Cute. Yeah, do that, yeah, and trade, and then go to a park, and then get out of the car, and then walk around the park. The for fuck. An hour and a half. Yeah, in the park. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. And then you gotta stop fucking because you're like, ooh, I see a Mr. Mime over there. <laughs> <laughs> I do it while I'm like thrusting or and like playing the, the game. And she gets kind of mad. She's like, why are you paying attention to me? I'm like, there's a Mr. Mime. Or you see like the glint of my, uh, <laughs> my binoculars at the trees. <laughs> 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 Just, is somebody semen retentioning up there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can feel the You're like, just hunting Pokemon, ma'am. Semen retentioning as a <laughs> yeah. verb. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's a <laughs> verb on Reddit. Did, no, did we did we talk about the semen retention thing ever? I was Because like, me and Zach were on, uh, were on the Shredded podcast talking about semen retention. Of like a, uh, a, a for for back. our listeners that don't know, and for Reborn, who is a listener... Um, you should check out the Shred Up podcast. Um, they're pretty good. Uh, they they, take, they pick a random yeah. subreddit every week and then they and they destroy and, and they destroy it. Yeah. <laughs> you should, uh, yeah. guys. If there's a if there's a Nokia N gauge <laughs> subreddit, <laughs> we could pick it in the yeah. Scan, yeah, yeah if there is there is a new plan, we will that we're be on that episode. Away. Yeah. Oh boy. So so we just we just slap. Oh, he we just give him our episode file and like all right, just put it up. Uh, <laughs> We're good. Now we got it. So also play Luigi's Mansion three. Uh, I've got four levels left of that game, so I'm pretty stoked. It's been pretty fun. Nice. Played a little bit of Metroid Dread uh, when I was uh, flying. Over Not enough of it apparently. <laughs> nope. <laughs> when I was flying over to Mexico. Uh, I was on the plane, so I played a little bit of Metroid Dread, a little bit of Bayonetta 2, and then Valkyria Chronicles. I started that, and it's been pretty fun. Uh, I got Mario Kart 8, because I had a babysit two weekends ago. I was like, you know, you're going to play Mario Kart. Nice. There you go. Yeah. Um, Did you get that new new season pass where they're putting out all those new levels? No, but I will. I didn't know that. Yeah, they're they're, they're putting out like 48 new tracks over the course of like a year or two. Oh, fuck. I'll have for, to do that. I think, 25 <clears throat> bucks. But it, they're from like all different Mario That's Kart not bad. games. Dude, I'm going to have to do that because it is fun. And I think there's some new ones in there too. 
uh, I went down a rabbit hole I never thought I would in life. Um, our friend Branny, who we were just talking about, talked me, a former host Cameron, and our other friend, uh, to downloading World of Warcraft Classic. So I've put some time into World of Warcraft. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's weird. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun when everyone's on. Destroyed. It's been fun when everyone's on. Um, I played. Uh, there's an anime called Overlord that's got a new like platformer out called Escape from Nazareth that I started playing a little bit, and that was fun. And then Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Shredder's Revenge finally came out. I've been waiting for that for like a fucking year. Finally came out. Such a long way. It was, dude. It's been a couple of years. They, they they announced it at the end of like 2020. I want to yeah, say it's, it's been a it's while. Kidding, I've never heard of this game. It's awesome. It's like it's kind of like the old like Simpsons games, like like where you're the fighter. We got the joystick. Beat like, up. Oh, it's yeah. a new. It's a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles beat 'em up, and it's made by the same developer that did the Scott Pilgrim game. Yeah. Uh, and oh. the music is by the guy who did the music for Sonic Mania. Also, so. they did the trailer saying that you could play as Casey Jones, and so I get in there and I'm like, I'm gonna play as Casey. It'll be fun. And then so like I go through and I'm like, there's all the turtles. There's Splinter. There's, there's you have April. to unlock him. I'm there's guessing. April O'Neil. There's no fucking Casey Jones, which like it's fine, but like don't advertise it. And then be like, yeah, you can place him. Like tell me like like we have to earn it. Cause like that's cool. I'll do that. I'll earn it, but don't let me think I can do it from the like straight from the get go. Unbelievable. I know. Uh, and because it's Pride Month, and they made April O'Neil's tits smaller. I know. It's fucking bullshit. April, that's why I play April, like April Oh no. <laughs> 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 oh no! Where's your tits, <laughs> April? Oh no! That is just unfair gone. to large-breasted women. To have, it is because first, to first their, they took their, Lola Bunny's tits. They're taking away their representation in media. Yeah. So Lola, here's the <laughs> thing: Lola Bunny and April O'Neil, and like what I'm saying to our listeners is, you I don't remember, know if Joe's joking, but I unironically believe that. So you listeners, remember what the fucking liberals took from you? <laughs> like you <laughs> remember this when we vote again? Lola Bunny's tits. They took the green M and M's tits and her and her uh, and her boots. What makes you think that's the liberals doing? I don't that know. Sounds Tucker, like a prude Tucker thing to Carlson do. said it was the liberals, and he wouldn't fucking lie. I mean, honestly, <laughs> Tucker Carlson was on his program. And Tucker, well, Tucker Carlson was like, they're taking away the boobs from all the cartoon. Yeah, movies. it's weird because he was that, and then them? like he was like, and now the nerds are unfuckable. They're not little monsters anymore. And it's like, dude, I don't know. I, honestly, the liberals are kind of the new prudes. No, they, they are, are the new they prudes, really but not why? for that stuff. <laughs> for that usually. stuff, that doesn't make any. That's a conservative prude. That's why it's weird. Move. Yeah, but that's that is what happens. It's like oh, too much sexuality, too much. Joe, no, you're really no. It really is though, because like as a guy in the artist community, like you'll go online and you'll Tell see a chick. Someone draws a chick with like huge tits, and then all the liberal <laughs> people be like, or at least anyone anyone who says like, where's her organs? Is someone who's like got pronouns in, in their profile. Like, or you're like, like I don't know. I pushed them out of the way with my dick, though. <laughs> yeah, I felt it. I was hitting something. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it was a kidney. Where's her organs? I don't get that. Yeah, what are when, you when, when, they, when they have like yeah. huge tits and not enough of a waist, that's like the common thing. It's like, where's her organs? Like, uh, I have seen the large tits, not no ass combo. No, yeah, it's not I've no ass. That. It's like skinny. It's like, yeah, it's like, like, it's I've like seen chicks that are pretty skinny with have pretty. Yeah, dude, me too. I follow one on on, uh, on Instagram. <laughs> it's like, like they're not. And they're like, not. Yeah, she's super skinny compared to like what her frame is, and it's like, and they're not she's, fake she's tits. I've seen people with real. It happens. Tits. It's not that real big common, tits is my favorite ska band. <laughs> real big. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I got one more game uh, for Pride Month. I started Food a Dick Dine and Dash, um, which is about a girl who grows a penis, and then it's not gay because she fucks women. Um, well, then we'll house it for Pride oh, Month. Oh, it's super straight, though. Yeah, oh, no, that's too not. straight for Pride <laughs> Month. No, though, yeah, it? it's just like... <laughs> I saw I saw one of our... our uh, on the Hog Report, one of our listeners played it, and I was laughing about it, and then I found it on Steam, and I'm like, nah, I got 10 bucks. I want to buy... <laughs> he gifted sex, me a copy, so... Yeah, and I, I, gifted, I gifted a for a copy so we could review it. <laughs> I want to play Sex with Hitler and Sex with Stalin. Oh, dude! God... Craig played sex with Stalin and it was we streamed it. It was so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we should review that. That'd be fucking Wait, hilarious. Uh, uh, Schweiss, are you gonna review Hentai Hitler? Uh I have to do that cuck game you gifted me years ago first. Yes, we need we need to review Cuckold Simulator. <laughs> it looks really <laughs> fucking funny. From the from the creator of Tyrone versus Cops, which I also have. <laughs> Is Tyrone the cuck or the the the? No, the it's cuck-inator? just another game he made where you're a guy named Tyrone who's melanated and you have to fight off the cops. Nice. Uh, that's all I played. That's um, pretty funny. Which was a lot. I feel like. Yeah, that's a fair amount. That is a lot. What about you, Joe? Um, 
I didn't play that much. I have been playing Final Fantasy XIV in all my spare moments. I know. Uh, I get the fucking notifications. They're like, I need to open a dungeon. And I'm yeah. at work, and I'm like, I don't play. I'm sorry. <laughs> and um, I don't play s- Final Fantasy XIV. I'm straight. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you get just respect your here. time is all. Um, <laughs> that too. Well, I don't because I put 110 hours into Elden Ring, but whatever. Uh, you also play a, 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 just a rotating door of poor hentai games. Um, forgot about that. Let's see. Uh, I play. I haven't played a hentai game in a while, actually. That's going to change when I play Food Addict, Dine and Dash, but you know. What, yes, what, both. When, when, okay. we in the, when we get later in the year and I need to build up my hog so I can make sure I beat you guys, I'm going to be playing all those $2 hentai games. But until you, then, that was, you can't take Jake's Jake's plan for you. That's horseshit. That's cheating. That's, that's not his it. plan. That was my plan from all along. I mean, to be fair, that's it. what I did to beat Craig. <laughs> I just got a bunch of $2 hentai games and I was like, this is for the clan. I mean, that's basically what he did to beat me. He played a bunch of like Mega Man fucking tiny games. Those Mega Man games are tiny, but they're hard. Like they'll take you a few hours if you don't know what you're doing. Because they'll die. That's what she said. (laughs) (laughs) Tiny, but it's. I was waiting for something. (laughs) There's a joke here. (laughs) Um, I also played a little bit of Cut the Rope (laughs) in my travels. What is that? What the fuck is that? It's a great. It's an iOS. Is that a phone game? Oh, where it's got like I I know exactly what you're talking about. I've played that. Yeah, it was. It's like an old ass Mm -hmm. iPhone game. I had it on my still available at the store. I had it on my iPod Touch. It's such a fun game. (laughs) It's so stupidly fun. And then uh, I also played Solitaire, uh, just a digital (laughs) version of Solitaire. (laughs) Dude, how long was your flight? To- Do I count that as beating a game? <laughs> if you won, I mean, I guess. I think, you know what? I think the jo- we'd have to talk to Jake because he is the commissioner of the league. The fuck him. I but own the company. He's, <laughs> yeah. he's, you made him the commissioner. <laughs> So you have to. Jake be tells him. Jake tells him that he didn't beat Solitaire. And he's like, he's like Willem Dafoe from the first Spider Man. He's like, no, no, you can't do this to me. You don't even work here. Out, am I? Joe's villain arc is the Solitaire. Yeah, thing. No, I beat that like eight times. <laughs> yeah. What? I mean, did you do three cards? Single card draw. Oh, single oh, card that's draw. not beating it. Come yeah, on, you, you need a three card draw. Did you? Did I you, have beat it in a three card draw. It's not prove it. I like. I kind of like the. I three can. Card. I think I can prove it. Hey, we technically could pull out a deck of cards and just wait until he beats <laughs> Solitaire. <laughs> the whole episode is us just staring at Joe. Yeah. <laughs> one card at a time. Like, come on, Joe. <laughs> get it? Get the I point do. System. I do love that Joe's got games an are like three, an man. old iOS game and Solitaire. It's like, what's next? The the to to Mind steal sweeper? from Redrick in the in the chat the yeah, crossword puzzle in the newspaper. Exactly. Like, yeah, I beat Sudoku this week in the paper. Yeah, I I beat uh, I beat June seventeenth crossword puzzle in the Daily <laughs> Herald. Thank you. Uh, it's got to be a video game. It has to be digital. It's on the computer. It's on the computer. It's in the computer. Minesweeper. <laughs> God, that game took me forever to figure out as a kid. <laughs> oh, and you I didn't just like yeah, randomly it's, Well, it's not very... It's kind I of did. obtuse if you don't know what you're doing. I was like, oh. You just click on a square and you either blow up or you see a bunch of numbers and you're like... I know it's not the fuck? same game, but like, I kind of want to play Dig Dug now. <laughs> you guys were talking about like Minesweeper. Like, oh, yeah. Dug or you remember that game on uh Dig Dug Grounds? sounds like a slur. I dig don't know dug. if <laughs> Come on, you little dig dug. Well, oh, damn it. I don't is have there a, is there a people. It's, it's gonna, gonna say, <laughs> is there like a people that, oh, it's like a, it's like a no, slur. No, don't. I don't have my beep. <laughs> I was going to say, instead of dig dug, more like, you, you can figure it out. <laughs> I, I mean, I Dude, went there. Like, it's like the crab people from South Park. I was thinking like a Viet Cong slur because they're like always hiding in holes yeah. during oh, Vietnam. Okay, I think it's going to be like slurs for them. Dogs. I think. I mean, that is true. I think when humanity is forced into the <laughs> earth and the rich fly to Mars, I and- regret saying that joke. <laughs> This is not. This is gonna happen. So when the when we have to start living underground because like Elon Musk and them are gonna move to Mars and the world's gonna be destroyed, when people like sneak up to Mars and be like it's a dig dug. Yeah. yeah. No. When we finally discover the Get hidden the race of dug. mole people, that's what we're gonna call them. Like, are you fucking dig dug? The mole people. I'm sorry, gonna get a bicycle sorry pump to any throw it in their mouth and I'm gonna blow yeah. them up people until they in the explode. <laughs> sorry, to, sorry to any dig dugs out there. Yeah, sorry yeah. to the mole, <laughs> the, the mole listeners in the audience. Uh, Joe, we, we call them uh, we call them underground Americans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dig duggers. 
Uh, hey, I, that's their word. Is dig dug us? <laughs> yeah, you gotta say you gotta a h at the end. Uh, or u h dig dug. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, so they're right. able to live underground because they have extra bones in their lungs. They could breathe <laughs> different kinds of air. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they could breathe dirt. <laughs> they could suck the air from the dirt. <laughs> uh, this uh, this talk reminds me of that Newgrounds game, that Motherload game. Do you guys remember that thing? I don't. Uh, like, I don't. You actually. get like a you. You're like a dude on a on a planet, and you're like mining um, with your little like. Uh, you you basically get like a big drill attachment to your ship, and you dig down and you collect m- like minerals, and then it eventually turns into like rubies, sapphires, and stuff like that. And then you bring it back up and you sell it off, and then you buy upgrades for your ship. Oh, that's cool, and like parts and stuff, and you can use dynamite and blow up like big chunks. And you basically huh. dig all the way to the center of the earth where you fight like Dinosaurs? Satan. That's <laughs> Satan. Yeah, <laughs> that's I, wonder, awesome. I wonder if that's still. I wonder if that's still on there because Flash is dead. It died at the end of twenty twenty. Um, we had a funeral for a, it. Well, well, there's a uh, th- there's a there's people that have been making a flash emulator called Ruffle, um, and Newgrounds basically just uses that now for anything that hasn't been converted to like a video file. So that that might still be playable on there. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm getting a document. What are we What are we going to start counting flash games for the hog? I mean, this no. game was awesome. <laughs> I played it like a lot. Yeah, addicting games. Maybe it was addictinggames.com. Could have been. I think it is addicting games, but uh, like Newgrounds might also have it, depending on who made it and who uploaded it or whatever. Yeah, because uh, I, I also remember Congregate was that like a big Flash uh, game website back in the day. Uh, what have you played this this month? A four. Uh, I have played most of May was Elden Ring, and I beat it. Finally, on, on hey, June that, we're 1st. not to that section yet. Shut yeah. up. I know. I'm just saying. I, I remember. Specific, I, me- I remember <laughs> most of May was Elden Ring because I beat it on the first of June. Um, so a lot, a lot of Elden Ring. I watched him cry uh, a lot. I'm I played straight. a little bit of Dragon Quest Four. I'm still working through that. Uh, I started playing a bunch of Street Fighter Five because I got a I got a new arcade stick. Nice. So I've been having fun playing online. Oh, that's that cool. how much that arcade stick cost you. Uh, I got it on sale for like, like ninety bucks, but it's pretty good quality stick. Sweet, it's a it's a Canva crystal, um, so it's not like super super high end, but it it does its job. It's good. Yeah, those are. Cool. Uh, and I also played a little bit of Mortal Kombat 11 with uh, Reborn from the Shredit podcast, and that that game's also pretty fun. But I need to play through the story mode of that so I can unlock like other costumes, so that I'm not playing as like Liu Kang as a fucking zombie the whole time. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> and, I, and when I've had a few free moments before work and, and occasionally these past few days, I've been playing a lot of a game with a certain robot race, a rapist uh, announcer, Bejeweled 3. I've oh, having nice. a lot of fun playing that. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Go. Outstanding. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> well done. Why do you? Oh. S- you kind of sound like Shao Kahn. <laughs> well, that's what he's. That's what the announcer of Bejeweled Three sounds like. He's, yeah. They they said uh, Craig and Ooh. and 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 Schweiss and a bunch of them said uh, ages and ages ago before even you and I were on the show that he was like a robot rapist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's true. It's weird. It's, it's high quality content that we bring to you here for years. That's <laughs> I right. mean, they're right. Pony Because up. the whole time I'm playing it, I just, I just have this like <laughs> smooth voiced, like this deep voiced fucking robot being like, you're doing excellent. <laughs> yeah. Go back. Which to is what so you weird for a game like Bejeweled tongue. where you're just matching little like color candy pieces. But yeah. Yeah. I like it. I love Bejeweled. It's great. It's, if- it's, it's still really addicting. Uh, but yeah, that's more or less all I've been playing uh, the past month. Nothing crazy. Oh, and I started Valkyria Chronicles, nice. uh, which is also really good. There's I, my my only complaint with that right now is like it's one mission to like five chapters like of dialogue. It, it's it's one mission <laughs> for like every, for like five cutscenes. Yeah, yeah. But, I'm like, I just, uh, I just the want story's to kill not people in bad. Game. The, the story's not bad so far. Like uh, with these like anime style games, there's a lot of like them that where the cutscenes are like just unbearable to watch. Like a good example is I, I beat the Street Fighter story mode for Street Fighter Five, mm-hmm. and the cutscenes in that are so fucking dumb. Like no one acts like a real person; they just act like a bunch of fucking dumb cartoon characters. Whereas like this is like a war story, 
So like they're actually acting like kind of how real people would act mm. in a war setting. So yeah. at least the cutscenes are like watchable. I don't know what I was expecting Valkyria Chronicles to be because I didn't look anything up for it, but it's definitely not, really. not what I thought it was going to be, and I'm like really enjoying it. Is that I, the, I played a demo of it way, way back when the PS3 first came out and I was in college because mm-hmm. um, that was like the big RPG for PS3 in its early years. I honestly never heard um, of it. So I, I knew it was like a tactical war game. But yeah. Is that the one where you have guns? Is that the yeah. one I'm thinking of? Yeah. Where like you, yeah. have, to, you have a tank. And like oh, the, of all the games, is that the one where you have guns? Well, it's weird. It's like an RPG, but you have guns and it's it like... It kind of plays like, okay. like XCOM, a little... Right? It's, yeah, kind of like well, that and I, I, I kind of like Fire Emblem almost because you have, like, have your... It's like Fire Emblem mixed yeah. with like XCOM and like mm-hmm. yeah, maybe so something else. XCOM. And like Gears of War. It's remember, weird, but it's cool. You remember the VAT system in... Um, I never played XCOM. No, not XCOM. Okay. It's uh, in Fallout. Fallout 3, Joe, where you'd like aim at the guy and you get like a percentage of chance of hitting each area it's kind of like a war game where you have that so like you've got these guerrilla fighters this i saw somebody streaming it and i was like oh this seems actually pretty cool where they'll like move their character behind some cover and then they'll uh you have the option to like try to attack somebody yeah. and you have like a certain percent chance based on your angle so and gun in and the first one hit as far as it's i like know it S- doesn't it's like sid meyer's pirates it doesn't, it is, yeah, it doesn't yeah, show yeah. you <laughs> like that. Yeah. It doesn't show you a percentage. Like it tells you like what shots are gonna like give her better, which obviously yeah, it, it shows you like be the best, you have but. five shots, but you need like <laughs> if you're aiming for the head, it yeah. takes two shots to kill. This yeah, guy, so when you so. go to like people's like bodies and stuff, it'll be like oh like some people are, like oh twelve. Like I've had a twelve guy come up, and I'm like fuck, because they only get a certain amount of shots. So what is this Sunny from the Godfather? Yeah. <laughs> Get him. Because <laughs> well, you, you eventually have different like, armor, classes. Like, you have like your scouts, which are like good for recon. They yeah. have like a and they big can move, AP bar, so they, they can, can move around yeah, a lot, but the, they're the not good attackers. And then you have like shock troopers that are good for taking down like tanks and shit. No, that's uh, yeah. that's not shock troopers. Shock troopers. Or the Lancer, sorry. Lancers, but yeah, Lancers. You know what that. I mean. My favorite is I chose, there's a Lancer. So like it tells you as well, sorry, like a little mini review, I guess. Um, no, just kidding. But it tells you like, when your characters, it tells you like what they like, what they don't like, people they don't like. Uh, within your own things. So, like, one of them, like, I have one, like, one of her things is she doesn't like men. She's a lesbian. She doesn't like men, but her stats are really good, so I chose her. She's like, fuck yeah. And so when I was, like, running, she ran past the guy. She's like, ew, it's a man. And I'm like, fuck. And then she ran past the woman. She's like, oh, hi. And I was like, yeah, get that stat. Yeah, and, it, and that, that provides buffs <laughs> and stuff and, yeah. like, and, and, and debuffs. But so, like, my, that character, no. if she's, like, around men when she's shooting, she has, like, lowered accuracy and yeah, stuff. Yeah, when she's around women, she but wants to show off. women, like, she has higher attack. Yeah, because she wants, she's, yeah. like, trying her best. <laughs> her best. Cause she's like, yeah, pussy. But so it's pretty in depth. One right. of my favorite characters I have right now is a lancer. It's like they're the ones that take down tanks. The man are just and like, he's <laughs> and he's a and he's no for a and woman. he's a he's a gay guy. And every time you click on him, he's like, I'm going there, honey. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I I'm say, protecting I this man at units. all costs. I will say when I was recruiting units, I did avoid the gays and the lesbians getting in my platoon. I accidentally chose one. I'm like, she looks like a child. And I just like, I was like, whatever. I need another shock trooper. So I chose her. And then I read her bio. It's like, ah, she's 12. She lied to get in the war. And I'm like, ah, fuck. She really lied. I was like, um. And people went. You so and I, I, I've heard, <laughs> I've heard, I haven't lost any. Joe, they're yet. anime characters. You can never tell how old they are. Okay, um, they might. This look one like looks 12, really young. And I'm gonna swap her out. <laughs> um, I thought of letting her get killed so I can be like, oh no, we lost a child. To give my team more motivation to, to be better. Yeah, I guess there's it. permadeath in this game there is. too. Because you like, have you have a cemetery you can go to. Like and when you go back and like train, you like train up your troops. You like as, when you beat certain areas. Or people, you get their guns, and your guys analyze them like, oh, we can make this. Like, let's make this better so you can upgrade your units and stuff. One of the options there at the command center is the cemetery. So you can go and, like, yeah, some of you guys can get permadeath, and you can go and visit. Okay, because I, I haven't had anyone die yet, but I did have, like, my sniper get completely <laughs> fucking destroyed yeah, by, like, a shock trooper. The snipers but if you can get suck. if you can get, like, your medic or, like, another... Yeah, if you get another unit to, like, touch that unit... Within like three turns, but or before someone so like an enemy touches them, your medic will come and like take them out of the fight so that they can yeah. live another day. Uh, the snipers all suck. Like I'm pretty pissed off. Like I chose him. I'm like fuck yeah. And then he missed three shots in a row, and I was like, kill him. Yeah, I don't need this man anymore. The game sounds kind of cool. <laughs> it's <honestly>. sweet. <laughs> it's fun, dude. It is so fun. I mean, it's a good RPG so far. I'm only like four chapters in. Yeah, but, I just, like, I beat- I'm finally to the part where like you actually have multiple classes and you can choose like where to deploy them depending yep. on what the situation calls I beat, for. I beat chapter five just before I came to the podcast. So it nice, was, there's, nice. eight, there's 18 as a whole. So it's really, it's honestly, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe. You know, Joe, honestly, I'd probably trade you my game that I've been playing, Danganronpa. 
Yeah, Dinkin' Rump is short. I don't want Dinkin' Rump. Dinkin' Rump, it's not fucking short. I beat it in 15 hours, bro. Fuck you, did you read it out no. loud? No. Oh. Every time the one bitch... I don't have to read it out loud. Did the one chick that stuttered, did you spend like a minute and a half every time she had like a... St- 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 wait, st- 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 wait, which chick was that one? Are you talking about a... Uh, uh, What's her name? Like Toko, the shy one with I, the pink oh yeah. and the purple hair. Wait, what? Which what level are you on? In that I'm movie? on chapter three. I hope she dies soon. Oh my god, you have like two chapters and an epilogue left, dude. I know it's <laughs> fucking forever. God, and I'm, I, god I, damn you! I stopped reading it out loud. I was like, okay, I can't do this anymore. I'm probably gonna stop streaming it because I don't want to just pound through the dialogue without. You know, I don't want to have dialogue that I don't read out loud. I feel dirty doing that. Uh, <laughs> so instead, I'm just not going to stream it at all. Yeah, I'll I can't believe it. that you were like, didn't read up on the game before you streamed it. And you're like, what is this? And it's like, I was like, oh, is this an RPG? And I'm like, no. No, it's a. Yeah. No, it's not. It's like some sort of novel that's visual. It's like, <laughs> it's like the one combo you should never have. I will. A I, book, a game that's a book. Um, so. <laughs> I guess I'll I see. hate to break it to you, Schweiz. There's a whole genre of that shit, and it's very popular. Yeah, there's also Japan, adult some, coloring books, here. like yeah, I saw. Yeah, but those I, not like that. Uh, <laughs> I, I saw I somebody. I, I don't remember what one of the games was for your guys' vote, but I remember that Danganronpa, <laughs> Phoenix Wright, and AI: The Somnium cool Files joke. were all on that vote, and those are all visual novels. I don't. So I didn't, didn't like Danganronpa. You're probably not going to like Phoenix Wright. I guess like spoiler for the possible review we might have is Schweiz never beats it. Like I. I'll be. I, I almost downloaded the second game. Like I thought about it. I de- uh, is it, I, they're both on one of mine. I, I just bought the first one because like this is gonna be stupid. <laughs> yeah, he got it on Switch. <laughs> yeah. I know that oh. you got the PS4 I got version. Switch. That I has, did have uh, that option, two. but I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this game because I don't like visual novels as a rule. I didn't know um, what it was. I guess. <laughs> I mean, I thought maybe it'd be like you but know. But then, but then, like honestly, I started Valkyria Chronicles, and I like kind of got sucked into that. So I'm like sick. I mean, that'd be nice to get sucked into a game. Speaking of, <laughs> Schweiss, what have you been playing? Uh, I did about Not six, Danganronpa. six hours of Danganronpa. No, no, I'm like 12 hours in. But I'm reading it like out loud, so it's taking me forever. Can I'm not know, doing do you know that. How to read? I'm cutting that. No, I just like give him. He's like trying to pronounce. He's trying to be the... entertaining on a fucking stream, Zach. Can yeah, just... but to don't. No, not that anyone's <laughs> there. I'm not anymore. I can't. I'm like this is taking too long. Twitch.tv slash New Clan Gaming. Yeah, where you can <laughs> not see me play Ding and Rump. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I played. I'm like at the beginning of chapter three in that game. Um, there's some interesting stuff, but whatever. I, I'll have my complaints later. <laughs> Yeah, uh, who's your favorite we'll girl, and why is it the swimmer chick? Uh, the swimmer chick is hot. I like She's the chick favorite. with the pink eyes too. Which one? The one that has pink hair as well. I don't remember. Oh, dude, names. Kyoko's best girl, bro. The one with, like the, the whitish pink hair. Yeah, Kyoko's best girl, dude. What the detective girl, or do you mean the girl that, at the beginning with like the the detective one? With, okay. Yeah, she's hot as fuck. Yeah, and it's okay because they're legal. Yeah, supposedly. Yeah. Oh, they are going to a high school, though. So are they? Ooh. You can be 18 in high school. Yeah. What was I? I was watching something. Boy, do I know. Oh, yeah, I was watching it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's called the Romeo and Juliet Clause. Get it right? Yeah. Uh-oh, are we getting into this shit again? God bless Texas. I'm just kidding. Anyway. Yeah, so I played that. Um, I played quite a bit of Final Fantasy fourteen in the last month. We're about... 60% done with the chapters in between um, the chapters and Walker. Between. And <laughs> I've had the space between stuck in my head all goddamn day, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Every time someone says something space between, it's, yeah, it's always... Yeah. Jeez, it's just like... It's like it's been, it's been a while. It's been a while! It's been a while! And then yeah. and there's... Uh, it's in the space between. The space between. <laughs> I literally. No, you guys only call me when you're sober. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I we, we did a decent amount of fourteen. Um, it's it's long winded and uh, as usual. And we've had a few times where we've come together to m- muddle muddle our way through uh, multiplayer experiences. Yeah, 14 is becoming gradually less and less fun every time I return to it. <laughs> I'm always excited to come back. And I then, like coming and back then when it. I get there, I realize, <laughs> like, uh, maybe not. It's just, yeah. the, the, just the way that they've 
made the experience. Like it's such a single player cutscene fest if you're going through the main missions. Like when that stuff comes out and you know, let's say you're playing this game regularly, you still want to race through that content to get to the next dungeon or whatever. And the game is still fun when it's a game. It's pretty challenging and it's always like it's always like on the edge of like one's ability or whatever, at least mine. And um but there's these like hours of cutscenes. Well, because it seems it seems pretty story heavy. My my sister this, is big in fourteen, which is like weird because she was never into those types of games. But like, she's saying fourteen is like the best story she's ever seen in a video game. The so. storytelling has she played Last of Us Part Two? <laughs> I don't think so. So sorry, Joe. <laughs> I completely disagree with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get. I, so I, I get updates. I haven't played fourteen, so I don't you, know. I your mean, updates for that are like I saw you just like ranting, and I was like, "I'll read." Fuck, this man. No, here's the, like it, there. I don't like overarching story. Sure, it seems to be strong. Often, doesn't matter if you can't execute it. Right. Ideas are cheap. Its execution is everything in storytelling. Yeah. It doesn't fucking matter. Like, if I, if I have to, like, if I want to gouge my eyes out because I'm so fucking bored because they want to... This is what happens in 14. This is the pattern. You know, something happens. And then the characters all have to get together and discuss it. And then they have to go, okay, we must do research on this. We have to go find out things. And then you have to go to another cutscene where you find out things. And like, well, let's go discuss this at the crystal blah, blah, blah. And then so you go to the new area and you discuss the thing. It is so mind-numbingly boring (laughs) throughout like half the fucking cutscenes. And every time I'm watching the cutscenes, as a writer, by the way, now I can say this as my professional opinion on this shit, there's so much shit that they can cut. Like every line is three lines too long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, oh my God. Do we there, need to clip this to your LinkedIn too? There was one last night where like Joe or one of us said a line. This, I do this all the time. We said a line way. and I was like, see, that's way stronger. Cause it's like, <laughs> bam, it's there. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was some, it was some comeback where it's like, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. It, basically the guy is like, well, you're going to die or something like that. But instead of saying like one line that would have been like, you know, you, but you don't deserve to be here or something, some, some simple one liner before he tries to kill the dude. He has to not only say that part, but then explain that he's gonna kill him. Like and like another two lines too long in the dialogue. Do and you I'm think just like I want to fucking like choke the so writers are you, are you playing of this, this game? Are you so, playing this in English or Japanese? We're playing it in English. English. So yeah. do you think it's because so, so, that like the voice actor was talking? Like, because the Japanese no, was like longer. And Fourteen they were, like, doesn't really care about no, that. Okay. No, okay. Yeah, I didn't know if they were like inserting things to be like, oh, hey, his, this is a lot longer than what you say in English. I, I don't know, know. and maybe so, it's Koji. So, Fox so Red Eric in the shit. in the chat says, uh, so four, Fourteen is another visual novel. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's not that you can make something that has a million cutscenes and it's interesting and it pulls you in and it's Kay. good, but. Yeah, I'm not invested, selling. and it's really tough to get through right. these things. And look, here's the thing. One of my favorite things that there is is a massive, sprawling world with a shitload of characters, and I love it. And it's got a lot of dialogue and a lot of people to remember, and that's Game of Thrones. And I like oh, I it. I thought you were going to say Conan Exiles. I was, I was waiting for Conan. I mean, too. Conan. I, I, yeah, of course. But the, the Conan doesn't have much of a story. But well, just thinking of other Final Fantasies too. Like, yeah, it's they like I'll do it better. It's not that I'm <laughs> against big, sprawling, massive stories that take place over large part, you know, things of time, large, large amounts of time. But like this one, it's just not. I'm just. I don't know what it is. I'm just not interested in it all that much. Like it does get good. There's good stuff there, and it is. Every expansion gets better, but they never fix the thing about it that I don't like. Like that's the thing. So like when people get onto us about ripping on fourteen, we I've liked every expansion better than the last one. And like there, the last one I thought was good. I did think it was pretty good overall. But it's one of those scenarios where it's a lot more. It's a lot more like Bloodborne, story wise, or like Elden Ring story wise, than it is like a Sekiro, where it, there is a story. 
It's not just lore. I don't care about the lore of 14. I don't give a fuck. Honestly, because 14 is just a, a cum dumpster for the rest of the series. It's just, oh, remember this? It's the member berries. Final remember Fantasy. Magitek armor? Yeah, remember, remember Terra? Oh, man, Terra's theme's going to play when you get, get in the Magitek armor. And I'm like, yeah, that's cool, but like... That ain't substance. Remember That's just fucking, materia? Yeah, it's just member berries. It's just, remember all these other cool remember things? Remember the gun blade? Yeah, remember all these other cool things? Like, yeah, but can you get your own cool thing, please? And it can't, I don't know. Roxo says we're not invested in it. I don't, I, I played I a think lot it of it. Well, here's know. the deal, here's the deal. What do you mean invested in it, though? Uh, like, uh, We're not invested in it because it's not that good. Uh, the, the, <laughs> <laughs> the, um... Fuck, what was I about to say before I I heard A4 laughing and it distracted me? <laughs> <laughs> no, Oh, yeah, they have every expansion is a new opportunity for them to tell a new story that gets you invested in it. And here's what happened with, with Shadowbringers for me. The beginning, like, three quests, I was in. I thought it was really cool. And then they got bogged down. And it did the same thing every other fucking 14 expansion did. And then my mind turned off and I didn't care anymore. And then the ending is really good. Because they are just so filler and long-winded and it's just obnoxious. Yeah, so Roxo, it's not going to be fun if you rush to finish it every time. But listen here, when you were into the game, when you played it regularly, are you telling me you took your time to updo those patch updates or did you plow through to get to the dungeon to then play the dungeon? Because we're not playing it any differently than anyone else plays the game. As far as I can tell, we're just plowing through the entirety of it in one month versus the entirety of it over the course of the two years where each every three months it comes out. And yeah, you did everything and that's fair. Like we didn't do the, uh, the super hardcore fights at the time and stuff like that but honestly like it's not a game where it's my game you know what i mean it's not a game where i'm going to sub to it and that's the one game i play and it's because i'm just not that interested in it I, mmos i don't mind but this is like the least mmo mmo i've ever played yeah I, like, you don't need people for most of it you could just go out and do it yourself i i remember my original thoughts on 14 was that i liked it better than 11 and i am slowly I like eleven more. That I I, I <laughs> never thought like as a multiplayer experience. Yeah, I think it was like the better. mechanics in fourteen are better. Oh yeah, it's it's a better graphics game. are better. Uh, the user interface is all better. Almost everything in the game is better. The story is not, which is odd, right? But I feel like eleven, although long winded as eleven was with its story, it was you having to read all that shit. And they knew that they had to like get in and get out a little bit more. I think they respected the player's time. Yeah, a and it bit was more, than more of a multiplayer. Even with the game. stuff like the imprimaturs. Imprimatur. Well, no, <laughs> not with that stuff. <laughs> or not Japanese Midnight either. Yeah, but I'm not saying that. Obviously, like Eleven has some serious Wait. problems. But <laughs> I had my friends over uh, Teamspeak when we were playing Eleven and. <clears throat> we were doing shit and like yeah. just like just fighting normal enemies was sometimes difficult and you had to have other people around you to help yeah. out with that in 14 it's like you level up to a certain point and it's like <laughs> enemies around you don't fucking matter they can't do anything to you yeah um and like they and they don't track or so there's no like challenge based in the actual gameplay of the game yeah. be, from going from place to place like none of that is in there and uh, there needs to be just a little bit of that. It doesn't have to be as brutal as 11, but a little bit of that would be nice. And, yeah. And then that makes the whole world multiplayer and not just the times that you're in the dungeons or the trials. Yeah. And so, yeah, and it's, so it's like it's ex a single player, easy experience with the exceptions of dungeons, trials, and raids. So... And I realize other people would play these games because they're trying to get, you know, just like slightly better armor or whatever, and it takes time or like some really rare drops, whatever. And so they play, basically, they do their dailies, their dungeon a day or whatever. Or maybe they're going for something specific, and that's like part of their daily thing. And then when a new patch comes out, then they watch those cutscenes like that we're rushing through. And so, yeah, there'd be more gameplay to cutscene ratio on their end, but the cutscenes still suck. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. Like, I, I think yeah, I... That, doesn't, that just, like, makes it... Like, that's a big part of video games, dude. Like, it just doesn't... Especially with, like, RPGs. Like, that sucks. I agree. And I think... Uh, like eleven, you know, in fourteen, <laughs> when I when we go into a new area, you can just run past everybody that's attacking you. I've rarely died. I've died a couple times out in the wild. In eleven, like you got to be with people or you're gonna die. Like I was the yeah. I was the tanky person. Me and Bandrum, I think, were the two people that would pull aggro all the time. And I still would die out by myself. You had to go with other people. You had to actually yeah. play the game with other people. And like, there's something there, and that does not exist. Yeah, you hug the wall in eleven. You gotta. Yeah. You, if you get mobbed, want, you are dead. I want something in between the two. <laughs> in fourteen, frankly, yeah. you can just eleven run away. Is so brutal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we played the easy version of eleven, apparently. And it was so. a, it was still rough. Yeah, and we go to level up, and we would still get like mobbed to death. Like you, yeah. if your trust started dying, you're fucking done. Yeah. And that was it. Was easy. Um, I just yeah, like it's such a I don't know like fourteen. There's things I love about it, but like I it is really getting tiring. And I heard and Walker is thirty percent of the story or some shit like that. Like the end Walker cutscenes are so fucking long. Yeah, that it Ugh. it's like way more than just a normal expansion, and that just like I do not look forward to that because they can't write a scene to save their fucking life. Yeah. So maybe tough. the story as an overarching thing is cool, and like if you get into the lore, you can kind of pay attention to all that stuff, and you're invested in that way. But scene to scene, it is terribly written. Yeah, yeah. there's something about it that it's not, and I, I think Eleven was. There's a lot in 11, but the 11 had a lot more charm, I think, than 14 does. 14 is just like, it's too long. Yeah. And it's it's fun when it's fun, but it's so rarely... I also feel like uh, since the the first Realm Reborn, and maybe I'm just remembering this with Rose, Rose-Colored Glasses, weren't there a lot more like quests in the main missions? Yeah, where you went and fought stuff. Yeah, you had to like go out and like gather shit. Now I feel like that happens like once a patch, and then there's one like fight per patch as well and then like nine hours of cutscenes. yeah when it seemed like those like maybe they were stupid little fetch quest things but it felt like i was playing a game right you were like doing something yeah i was at least fighting i feel like yeah i feel like they've gone way heavier in the cutscene direction than they did before that's one of the last one of the last streams that i did i was like oh my god you mean i get to go fight in this (laughs) game (laughs) you're like holy shit I was like, oh, cool. I get to kill an enemy. Look at that. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Sorry yeah. for the 14. Man. Uh, we went off it's on just, a It just feels like, like an honor that, that we're on the Ultimate like Final Fantasy podcast. How you feel about the fucking... Uh, uh, welcome your two the, new hosts, Zach and A4. Made this the Ultimate week. Final Fantasy. <laughs> I didn't watch the trailer for 16 yet. I No, I mean, they, they revealed uh, 7 Part 2. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they did. And... Uh, a Crisis Core remake. That's exciting. Is I'm kinda, it a I'm Crisis kinda... Core remake on what? Phones? No, five. On PS- like Switch and yeah. Xbox and PS4 and stuff. And PC. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Crisis Core. I'm just kind of pissed because like I stopped playing the original. Like I, I, I liked it, but like I just started playing other video games. I started the original Final Fantasy VII because I never played it. And then now, because I was like, oh, let's play this one because it's going to be like the same story. And then I'm like, fuck! Oh, and uh, <laughs> uh, gotta... remake is on, remake is on Steam now. Integrate is on Steam. Oh, cool. Nice. I kind of want to yeah. replay the 7 remake because I played it wrong and I didn't upgrade any of my uh, summons. And I I kind of want to get it on Steam because I, I, I never played it. And I just said fuck the whole entire last part of the again. game and I almost broke my controller because I just wasn't. Wow. I kept Plus, dying. I, no, like, it was, I would die bigger. so much. And I'm like, what the fuck? And it's like the Sephiroth fight. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then I found out that I hadn't. I was like, oh, you're supposed to upgrade those? Oh, fuck. Oh, you can, you, I had, I had the, 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 the original summon you get at the beginning of the game the entire game. And I was like, oh, you can get more. See, it's going to be yeah. fun for me when that second one comes out because I, I still just have my 100% save file. It's just like, fuck that. Just replay the chapters and kill it. Yeah, we could beat it. Yeah, like, they, um, they, anou- they announced that no uh, the 7 remake is going to be made up of three parts. Yeah, that makes sense, uh, too. Part, part I mean, two, Rebirth well, that's, is coming out. that's what everyone was... It's like disc one, two, and three, only I'm but sure that's But be. that's what everyone was like talking about like when it came out and they said it was going to be the part one. was like, oh, it's going to be three parts. Like, it that's, has to be, That yeah. was the consensus of what I had seen. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. I just hope they make Advent Children canon with this. No, I'm just kidding. Advent Children was canon. I know, I was it's kidding. It was a joke. They, <laughs> it's all... Or they, were showing off, um, they were showing off some shit for some game called Ever Crisis, which is only on phones, which is stupid, but apparently it's like an old school... It's like basically 
like a turn-based Final Fantasy VII remake, but it includes the content from stuff like Dirge and Before Crisis and Crisis Core and mm-hmm. like Advent Children One, all dude. within the same story. Doesn't count. But it's only on phones. <laughs> it's so stupid. One of yeah. my greatest finds at a thrift store was the collector's edition for Advent Children that like had all the art and stuff still. Oh, cool. Yeah, nice. so it's like pretty stuck. Yeah, like, nice. The movie's like, all right, but it seems like it was, it seems like it was fun. Right. I, well, see, I, I feel like it was supposed to be a video game. I enjoy it happen. as a Final Fantasy fan. Yeah, I think the, the fights are fun. Like, I like watching, like, the fights, and, like, the music's pretty good. It is the most, it is the most, like, like, Tetsuya Nomura thing yeah. where he's just smashing two action figures in front of the screen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good way of describing it. <laughs> no, yeah. because I, I, like, I remember watching it, like, for the first time in forever, Knowing who Tetsuya Nomura is now, time, like a couple years ago when I beat Seven, and just watching the credits, I'm like, these are just Kingdom Hearts credits, where it's like very crystally looking letters floating around, <laughs> and it's like this looks like it would be in Kingdom Hearts, so this is totally Nomura. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm yeah, excited. He's for got you a guys, very specific style. Isn't Sixteen supposed to come out um, <clears throat> next year? Right. I think next year in in like March uh, the spring. I forget. Yeah, I think it was March, and then it was like December or. or November yeah, or something. They're for... really f- sucking on the hype train for this one. Yeah, and they're sucking on the seven remake hype train. Like that's a long gap between part one and part two. Like I'm just I'd I... rather that, look if yeah. the development if the development is like if it's being developed correctly, I don't care how long it takes yeah, between I these parts. Yeah, that's, that's fair. So I but I feel like them like throwing like the retrograde in with like when adding Yuffie stuff was like such And a honestly, thing. if they're sucking Gosh, on the hype train for sixty I would rather them focus on developing sixteen than making like what they did with 15, like making a game and then making a shitty movie and a shitty anime and a shitty mobile <laughs> pinball game and all this other shit that goes along with it. Just focus on making the game. And I don't care how many, like if you only put out three fucking trailers for it, as long as the game's good. Yeah. I, what I'm concerned with is that the trailers are not good with 16. Right. That's what's like, and it's so weird because we've gone through like, 13 trailers were amazing and 15's trailers were amazing and I'm look and the re- and Final Fantasy 7 remake trailers as Although it feels like, like it feels title. like remake didn't get as many trailers until it was like almost out. It didn't, so but maybe it that's what's going to happen like, with 16. It was still exciting. I don't know, I'm still kind of like, for 16. And f- like 15 and 13. So let's just talk about like those main series ones, right? 14's trailer was like just like an open-ended like ooh, welcome back to the online world and no one gave a shit. Uh, so it, was also, <laughs> it was also not a good trailer, but um, 13 and 15 had like, you were almost like half invested in the characters before the game came out. Yeah, that's and, true. Yeah. That's why so many people were upset at cuts they made, I think. Yeah, because, yeah, like, yeah. Which maybe they were it. like trying, they're trying to learn from that, but maybe. And I'm thinking like Last Remnants trailer is pretty cool. I remember watching those and I being wanted pretty that excited. Game, yeah, I was like, oh, I want a 360. <laughs> and this is <laughs> kind of that same that's co directed by that guy, right? Yeah. So, like I'm looking at, I'm just watching these 16 trailers, and I'm like so non, so non plus by. Like they're not getting me excited. I don't know who anybody. Well, they're, is. they're not really focusing on the characters per se. They're focusing more on the spectacle of like, look, we're fighting these titans, and look at this cool real time combat we're doing. Oh yeah, way cool for a trailer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. just, I'm just saying. You know, like, I, I heard your apologies. They're not focusing so, it, It's it not a good they're not trailer. So much on the story. Or like, look, look at the trailer what? for Stranger of Paradise. Like, look at the stuff for that when it was coming out. Like, or even I need to demos. play Stranger of Paradise. I really do. Yeah, that's next. That's after our fourteen a thon. So a thon. But like it also because I've I've heard Stranger I think of Paradise trailers, is like, Stranger of Paradise's is, is trailer like is better than 16's trailers. Either of them. Both of those <sighs> fucking FS sixteen trailers are like. I saw a woman's back because it looks like they have a post cloidal scene in the cutscene. Like okay. That's the most exciting thing in the Final Fantasy 16 trailer. Yeah, dude, Final Fantasy 16. But it, no, so maybe this is one it's of the Final bad. Fantasies where they're focused more on the gameplay and less on the story because they used to do that a lot. Where Why like, is you the have marketing a Final department that was more about the gameplay and then the one that was way more focused on the story? No, and yeah, then like, they did that. I mean, they yeah, they yeah. focused on both hard. So case. I mean, it could be that. Yeah, Who it knows? seemed like, like that maybe was it's a twelve. The maybe it's a twelve situation where the story is, is like there, but maybe the focus is more on making sure the game is fun. Well, to that's play. that's a little bit. I mean, I would. Suck. Twelve had a good trailer too, though. I was fucking. I twelve was had like, good oh, trailers. Shit, I'm not yeah, saying it didn't. I'm just game. saying like yeah. what people remember twelve for. I think more than anything is the gameplay. Mm-hmm. I'm just so I'm so confused by it. 
Like, why don't I give a shit about this, like, game? Like, yeah. the trailer just, like, the trailer sucks. I know the, the trailers game, aren't very good. The gameplay but... sale, I mean, the game sales are not going to be as good because the trailers suck. Straight I, up. I can I see, like, a about one, that, but, I can I mean, see, like, a one-to-one, on... one, like, cause and effect. They're not giving us very good marketing materials. They're not getting us excited for this game. I'm not the only one, by the way. There's, like, we have our Discord well, yeah, the chat. Ultimate, I was reading that. I'm, not, a lot seeing, of people are the I'm not seeing anybody going, like, fuck, man, I'm stoked. The only I way am. you could be stoked, the only th- way to be stoked about 16 is to look at the people making the game. Yeah. If there's, if there's anything that was going to make me buy a PS5... It, I would I would actually say it's remake part two over sixteen. Yeah, I would right too. Now. I'm more excited about remake yeah, part that's, two. Yeah, that's that's a good point. And I I normally do get excited about these. The things. new I, trailer is better than the old trailer for sixteen. Oh, okay. But <clears throat> it's still not great. I think the trailers for the fourteen expansions have all been amazing too. Like I've been excited every time. Yeah, I feel like the most important question that this brings up, and I don't even like fourteen. Is did anyone <laughs> did anyone did anyone beat a game this last <laughs> month and a half? Yeah, did anybody beat a game? In this last month and a half. <laughs> in a <laughs> no. I did. <laughs> All right, Zach, what'd you beat? I beat Dangan Rampa Trigger Happy Havoc. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Durr. <Yeah. laughs> uh, what about UA4? Got here. Uh, what's the last thing you have down for me? Jesus Balzo Four. I don't know what that is. Is that Halo Four? Oh Halo yeah, it four. Is. <laughs> I changed all of his things to balls. <laughs> Super balls, hot shot balls, Pokemon balls, cup balls, Sakura balls, Bayonetta. I kept <laughs> balls accounting. <and> no <laughs> balls and Etta? Respect for Bayonetta. No, you got to respect the heels. Accounting <laughs> plus Doom Sixteen, Battle for Balls, FF Pixel, Fial balls, Fial balls, and balls. Final four. fight was that. <laughs> Oh, I'd fuck that way up. I'm glad yeah, you remember. I, yeah, I, I have know. no idea what these are. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I, didn't if the last I tell thing you not to Halo do that? 4, <laughs> you did. If the last thing was Halo 4, then since then I have beaten The King of Dragons. Is that a hentai game? No. Okay. Fuck you. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> uh, I have beaten Mortal Kombat, the very original Mortal Kombat. Is that a hentai game? Okay. King of Balls. Uh, Elden Ring. <laughs> King of Balls. That one, that one's definitely a hentai game. You keep getting fucked in that game. All right. Uh, Captain Commando. That's a hentai game. <laughs> that one has to be. Kirby and the Forgotten Land. He blows. Them Jesus that one. fucking Christ. Yeah, dude. This is why him and his wife are on the rocks right now. And I'm Street Fighter so Five. And we are not on the rocks. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> yeah, this is over defensive. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He's like the little dog in the house is on fire while he's drinking his gamer fuel. She is not. She does not <laughs> have a gun trained to my head at this very moment. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. uh, is that it for you? That's it for me Spock. this month. All right. Uh, that's, half. that's a hoot. Nothing for Joe, right? No. All right. So I beat. Not Danganronpa. Elden Ring. No, you ah. didn't. I did. You I did? did? Yeah, I didn't beat uh, what's her face, Melania. Yeah, I spent like an hour and a half on her, and I was like, "Look, Look. I'm sure I could beat her if I spent another six hours on her, but I also think I could beat the game tonight." And so I went. And beat are the you game. are you ready to be mad? Uh, can I not go back to fight her? No, um, I beat her on my second try. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty upsetting. <laughs> Uh, I can my, hear my his buddy sperm Ether, go down when he said that. My buddy Ether told me because I was I was specked in Dex, and uh, you were sucking dicks. So he told me. So he told me, so he told me to use dicks. the Rivers of Blood katana <laughs> and another katana and just spam the Rivers of Blood special skill, which does like this blood slash. Yeah, I know. Uh, I, yeah. Well, I had my I had my um, my uh, mimic summon at the same time, so two tries. And I I think I might have also gotten lucky. Because I didn't get hit by her waterfowl dance like once. I think I just wore her down before the RNG let her use that. Wow. Which is like the, the big fuck off attack she does. No, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's pretty, so he's pretty, I, I might have just gotten lucky well there. Known to that because he's been getting his but name. yeah, if you want to cheese her, Rivers of Blood is pretty good. I yeah, have, so if you want to cheat the game, Schweiss, you can I have use Rivers of Blood. Mimic. I really like it. Rivers of Blood's a cool ass sword, yeah. Um, I don't have dex. I, use, I did a strength build and faith. I did a little face. How many hours did it take you then? 
I think it was like 160 or something. It was, Jesus. It was a lot of Because I explored virtually the entire map. Like, there's almost nothing that I didn't do in that game. I never summoned once, though. The only time I yes. ever pulled anybody okay. into a fight was when I fought... Uh, Red again? R- Radon. Radon, yeah. Red again. Yeah, but you're supposed to summon in that fight. It was awesome, too. And I almost beat him without doing it. And that's, I, like, I the coolest really fight close. in the game, I think, honestly. It's hilarious seeing him on that tiny little pony. It reminds me of my Red Dead Redemption, my big, fat Mexican guy with the sweet, bushy stash. El riding, Husk. Riding on the tiny donkey. That's what <laughs> that guy reminded me of, like an extreme version of that. Because he's this huge dude. It's a, he's like a mountain, yeah. and he's got this he's like, like pony. Because like, like, he loves his horse. Like it's, I didn't like realize that you actually weren't summoning. Because so so, I, I was beating the game, like, and I was saying to the people so on the stream, I was like, yeah, good so much, choice isn't like summoning. Horse, good fucking luck yeah. beating some of these dudes without summoning. All right. I didn't summon, yeah. I never summoned Damn, the ashes. That's impressive. Wow, you didn't use a mechanic in the game they wanted you to do. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm going to do it when I play it again. Yeah, you should. So you can review it. But honestly, now I know how to kill everything, so I'm like, I could probably just fuck them. I need to like... I forgot I'd say I did play Elden Ring last month, but I haven't put as much time into it, so I need to like. I will say, if you it. summon, it makes the game markedly easier. So I would imagine <laughs> I upgraded one of my summons because I thought maybe there's a trophy, but there wasn't. I think I, if I max them all out, there's one. Oh but yeah. I didn't explore every area and I didn't kill every boss, but I got a lot of them. Um, and I yeah, was I got virtually all of them. I'm I'm actually having a hard time thinking of a boss that I didn't fight. And I'm I, I looked up stuff. I I was making a pact to not look up anything online and also not use any summons. I broke the pact of the online thing because I got to the final boss and I couldn't beat it. And I was like, it's yeah, I did much. the same thing. Um, so I looked up new oh, I, that, that final so boss. Fuck fuck that shit. That's a really a, bad final boss. When A4 was playing, he was like streaming in like the chat that we have like. With some of his friends, and I just mercilessly—I was just such a dick to him the whole time. I was like, "Yeah, maybe get good at video games." I don't know. Yeah, and like he just the f- the f- the f- the. Anger I, I got actually. I like, threw a controller for the first time yeah. in a long time, dude. Oh wow! Yeah. I uh, it was it was amazing. It was like it made my night so much better. I got the last guy's parries down like perfect for the first phase, and then the Elden Beast yeah. I just whipped out. So I had the yeah no the. I use the... Uh, the second phase is just a bad final boss, because it's like, okay, it's not only does he run away to the other side of a fucking football field for the entire fight, <clears throat> but then he's just got one move that's just a, a homing attack that just doesn't go away after it hits you. Yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. The, the, well, watching you fight that final boss, though, I didn't watch you kill it because I ended up jumping off stream, but... Yeah. It reminds me the scale of the final boss in Bayonetta where you don't know what the fuck is going on. It's just too much. Because yeah. it's so much. And you're yeah. like, yeah. what am I doing? That, that, the fact that like, if, you, if you target him, him, the camera just doesn't know what to do also doesn't help. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, I, it's better to not look, target him. Yeah. Yeah. It, that, that final boss sucks. So it's I, not a good I final boss. The Bloodhound, so I'm sorry. the Bloodhound sword for phase one. If it I, was just the first phase guy, that would be awesome. Yeah. But. I switched to Rivers of Blood for phase two. So, yeah, but I got his. I, I didn't even use Rivers of Blood for Phase Two. I ended up using some other weapon, some some like great uh, great sword or hammer or something, uh, because it's it's a skill. Was it like summons a a gravity thing from like relatively far away? Because that thing runs a hundred fucking feet in any other direction than where you are when it moves. That's true. So yeah. you spend half that fight running to fucking catch up to it. I or hope you guys are enjoying so the Ultima Elden Ring podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The uh, premier Elden Ring podcast. The Elder Seki, the Elder Seki Soulsborn uh, Ultima uh, Elder Seki Realm Reborn Soulsborn. podcast. Yeah. I kind of want to make the From podcast. Elderly Seki. Hey, how, Sucky, Sucky. What, what's our time on this episode? A lot. Hour and a half. Okay, yeah, guys. I feel like we should yeah, we should shut the fuck up about Elden Ring already. <laughs> we'll review it, okay? Yeah, we'll do a five-hour review of Elden Ring. It, it actually sure might be it. that long. It might be the entire recording session. Yeah. We'll see, and we'll the cut sad it part bits. is, as much as we're complaining about some of this shit, it's still probably my game of the year so far. Uh, uh, I don't know. I started playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's the only game I played from this year. And so. I played Danganronpa, so... No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's good. Retro. Twice's face. Retro game of the year, you little fuck. No. Get, yeah, A4 was think, just like, oh, yeah, God, visual novels exist. I was like, no, they don't. <laughs> nope. Novels exist. <laughs> it's like it's like the. Worst. I don't think you realize, dude. You don't even realize how long some of those things get, it's, and they don't even have like gameplay like Danganronpa has. Like, yeah, it's fair because um, Danganronpa does actually have gameplay. There, there's a visual novel. I think it's I think it's like Yumi Neko when they cry, and that thing is like that insanely sounds, long. Sounds so unappealing. That sounds a very like a very like good Pride Month game. 
<laughs> yeah, when they cry. No. Uh, no, the uh, I just okay. Real fast before we finish up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's like games that are music, right? So you got like Guitar Hero. You've got like uh, rock, rock, band. Band. rock Rock Band. Yeah, rhythm games. Games that are music, Donkey music Kong, in Kong game Kong. form. You've got movies in game form. You've got Final like Fantasy XIV. Final Fantasy. It's not a good. <laughs> not okay, yeah, I was like Metal Gear. Virtually any Naughty Dog game. I just yeah, they're movie to... as a game. They're, those are good. Can be good enough. Yeah, they don't can be. Always. God of War. That's kind of like a movie like experience. True. Yeah, oh, well, well, that's well, its own thing. Fortnite. I think God of War is very special. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I agree. That's why it's a perfect game. Uh, our show. I think my buddy still has my God of War, and I gotta get it for moves to Texas. Fuck. But the worst thing. Book to game. That's unacceptable. That's too much. <laughs> Japan would disagree with you on that, my friend. I'm or sorry. game to book, frankly. <laughs> game to book. Yeah, that, yeah, er- that's that, er- that Aragon game. Hey, you shut your fucking mouth. Those choose your own adventure goosebumps books rock. Nah. They all have bad endings. Every I looked ahead. I I cheated and made that. You're like, oh, I died. I actually chose this one. <laughs> like, oh fuck! Now you I'm just stuck wrong in the to a bad ending. Uh, That's all you did. Okay, so yeah. I either get strangled or I get stuck in a lantern for all time at this fucking camp. <laughs> this is uh, this sucks. I honestly, Goosebumps. Goosebumps books suck. rarely have good endings. Yeah, it's like upsetting to me. Now the older I get, the more I think back. I'm like, you know, those books are fucking annoying because I was always like, come on, where's a good ending? Ah, oh, this one sucked. And then I'd like read oh, another your one. Your monster was family. Your family was monsters the whole time, and you're like, ah, oh, fuck, gay. That's so like the most like, happy ending. Have you, you get. seen? There's like, it's, it wasn't. Good it's always like, like a, it's always like a twist ending. Know, it's it's cool. like you destroyed, talking. you destroyed the blue monster in your closet, but then you look down your pants, and your penis is blue now forever. <laughs> no, that's gay. Like, so shit, kind of like that. Um, there's that one where it's like where they geared it more towards teenagers, but like he hated clowns. I always remember this episode. He hated clowns. and was afraid of them, and then like. His like he was like as he got older, his, his like his family was trying to like introduce him like no you should like clowns like, you should like clowns, and then in the episode he finds out that they're clowns they're clown people, and it was like oh you just wow, he's so, gonna oh, yeah what well, well, was like called like R L Stein's haunting ground or something yeah or haunting, haunting hour haunting hour it's haunting hour and it was like That's yeah mark your yeah. towards teenagers but like that one fucked me up as a kid yeah. I just I hate him. Like I I used to. I, love I him. liked him. I liked him a lot. I still but I was like, I just there's no satisfaction in any ending. Their ever. suffering is my satisfaction. You played Elden Ring. Yeah, that I, was my. I, suffering. I give them props for 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 having a kids book series where it rarely ends well. Yeah. So I mean that's that's, that's kind of balls. Well, yeah. I just want to say thank you guys for listening to the Ultima Goosebumps podcast today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when are we going to start the Goosebumps podcast, oh please? <laughs> Those movies are bad. You know, dude. if we start enough Not podcasts, the movies, you don't. The books in the show. <laughs> we'll have enough to make it all. <laughs> yeah. If we start enough podcasts, guys, we can quit our jobs. Eventually, one of them's got to. I mean, that's the thing about success in like creative spaces. You just have to create. And then the idea is works. that we quit our jobs to podcast, but we literally to meet, to make ends meet, we have to podcast literally twenty four seven. Yeah, it's just like a new podcast. <laughs> yeah. it, it's just like thirty dollar Patreons and in, in like every single fucking podcast. We start. We start. We start. The, the money is in the Engage podcast community. Well, like, the Nude Clan has to stop be. reviewing video like, games because we literally have to podcast here's the thing, all day, man. all night. We need to, to make at least podcast we started. So we each need to make at least twenty dollars an hour. So every time we do a one-hour podcast, it has to make $80 an episode. <laughs> All we have to do is have to have per-episode Patreon tiers, and each podcast, we just need to get it past that $80 mark. And I swear to God, we just do 40 hours of nonstop talking <laughs> <laughs> a week, and we got this. Or <laughs> we got we could, this. We could do the smart, we, or we could do the smart move, and I can contact Blue Chew, and we can hawk boner pills every episode. <laughs> 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 Why not both? Yeah. yeah. You look down, and your penis was blue. <laughs> Welcome to the ultimate Blue Chew podcast, where we yeah. talk about Blue Chew. Get where we have hard. raging boners yeah. the entire Get time. Get your dick hard and pick up that controller. Get the <laughs> play some games at the Nude Clan. <laughs> First one to get a to get a softy. Yeah, that's loses. pretty much what you got to use in order to use a N64 controller, right? You use the middle one as for the <laughs> middle <laughs> stick like, as your dick. <laughs> <laughs> you just wedge it in between the... The top of the you're little, making like, Mario do, You're making Mario do it's triple like, jumps. Oh, I get like, it now. When you're looking, you're like, he doesn't even know I'm making a move with my dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. He might feel it knocking on that back door. All right, guys. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Gaming is where you can find us. Uh, please join our Discord. That's the best way to get a hold of us um, <laughs> and to join the conversation. That link will be in the description of the episode. 
You can subscribe to us on YouTube if you want or wherever you get your podcasts. Please subscribe if you're not already. Uh, listen to every single episode because, I mean, you're just going to miss out on right. in-jokes if you don't As well, do that. Exactly. speaking of being poor, toss a coin to your podcasters. You oh, listeners are plenty. We love to bring you content every month, and sometimes when we're late. Uh, sometimes <laughs> every month and a half. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, we, we like to do this, and uh, yeah, your yeah. support means everything, and we'll play your games eventually. Link will be in the description of this episode, but you can just go to Patreon and search Nude Clan, and you'll be able to find us. Yeah. Uh, and you can follow Probably. the show. Or you'll find a bunch of chicks uh, living out in the forest taking their tops off. Uh, but they don't look Both. that good in the video. Also. Both great. Uh, Both great. Both great. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the, native, the native chick doesn't exist in the video. Just so you God, know. we would probably have more luck on that OnlyFans video. At this doesn't point. fucking exist anymore in the search. Oh it really? Yeah, they took yeah. it down. That, it's called disappointment. It's called like being an adult. That image, man. Yeah, I can yeah. see her. Her tits were great. Now. It's like a, I don't Bro, know. It was I know, like a, dude. Oh my god. Can we describe? It was like a half Asian chick mm-hmm. with like. Huge but she was breasts, wearing like a Native American like headdress. Wearing yeah, just just doing some great she cultural like, appropriation. She had like puff nip and like <laughs> it was, it was nice. amazing. Yeah. She, she was in great shape. Yeah. <laughs> I can seriously still. <laughs> yeah, see I can it. see the tits in my head. Like they yeah. never leave. I don't remember. And no one wants to see it. Was, it was just burned into days. your mind like when you burn an image on a TV. It was like yeah. seeing the face of God. You're and then it was taken unseen. from you. I don't remember what my kids look like. <laughs> but I do remember that Native American <laughs> Asian chick. <laughs> And they're awesome. Tits. Yeah, it's all the it's all the memory <laughs> like, you need. Your kids honestly. like uh, I love you, Dad, Dad, and you're like I love you, Native American tits. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever your name is. <laughs> yeah. I love you too, Native American. And he's like, Dad, tits. I'm Nicholas. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> and you're like close enough. Yeah. Close yeah enough. Uh, Follow the show. The <laughs> Follow the show at New Clan Podcast. Is where we do the um, the polls uh, for choosing our our next games. Um, and what are your guys' podcast or your Twitter? <laughs> My podcast is a uh, nude clan podcast. Oh, did I say I'm at Twitter? You can follow us on Twitter at nude clan podcast. You can uh, follow me at B Grixis. Me at like titties. Me at UFF podcast. You can follow me at A4 Extreme. And that'll be it for this week, guys. Thank you for joining us. We'll be reviewing Sonic next. Live always in the nude. Woohoo! Walk with your spam held high. Fuck spam. Just kidding. Yeah! It's great. Yeah! It's great. <laughs>